Okay. We're good to go. Let's pop the chat out. Okay, cool. I think, I think we're good to go. Welcome back, guys. How's it going? Deepot Tom here. Happy Friday. Hope you're all doing well. It's been a few days since I've streamed, but I am back. It's good to be back to see you guys. We'll go more into into that in a bit once more people get here. Uh, it's a while. I was gone for a couple of days. And uh, the plan from here on out, kind of a thing. So for today, I wanted to go with something a little different. Something a little, uh, I want to say off the rails, but uh, although it's usually off the rails here every day when I do stream. But um, something uh, that I haven't done in quite a while, uh, and that's SFO. Uh, I've done it all in game three. The last time I used SFO Overhaul, aka Grimhammer, uh, it was probably a year and a half ago or so, and I can't even remember the last faction I was using it with. Um, but over the years, I have played many SFO campaigns. It's just been a while. Um, so I was, it just kind of struck me. I just wanted to try out some different flavors of um, a Chaos unit, decided on the best of gore. Hence Kazrak. We haven't played him either, uh, and so it's a good opportunity to combine uh, flavors of god-specific units with a, with a lord that I haven't played yet on the channel, uh, and that uh, it's pretty easy to play, uh, and then I'm comfortable um, in uh, managing from a battle perspective and a campaign perspective. So yeah, that's that's uh, the lowdown. Okay, so let's keep it. Legendary very hard. Oh cool, it actually tells you. That's cool. So SFO shows you the changes to the what the difficulty imbues. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, so let's keep it vanilla in the sense that uh, uh, there's no ultimate scenario, any scenario of any kind. Just going to be a basic Immortal Empires playthrough, but using SFO. So there is an overhaul, of course. But So in that sense, it isn't vanilla. I don't mean to confuse you that way, but you know what I mean. Vanilla Immortal Empires. Yeah, it's weird how it like, brings you back to this. I think I mentioned this the other, the other stream. I was like, why does it take you... When you go back to your lore, it brings you back to the faction. It's like, we're already... I don't want to regress back to this. I've, I've kept... I already selected my lore. There we go. Okay, so in terms of his starting units, he's got kind of a plethora, a little smattering of different stuff here. He's got some Bestigore, Razorgore Chariots. I think they were nerfed. No, it's the hero. I think it was the, the Wargore on his Chariot got nerfed a bit. I think when um, the update for them came out, um, was that their DLC? Yeah, when the, when the, the, the DLC first dropped with uh, Torox, and the and the war gore. I think the war gores were a little overpowered. I remember being that the case in at least multiplayer. People are complaining about that. That was a while ago, though. Yeah, time flies. So yeah, I haven't used a razor gore chariot in a while. We'll try them out. We'll give them a shot here. Do a little micro. I haven't played in four days, though, so my micro is going to be abysmal. The only game I have been playing, um, I played maybe like three hours of Diablo over the past four. I've been lying low in Diablo waiting for season one to come out, which actually was today. There was a patch this morning. Um, the only game I've been playing for the past four days has been Barrow Trauma. Actually, I've been I've been pretty deep into the Barrow Trauma. No pun intended. <laughs> Pretty deep though, pretty deep. I've gotten slaughtered many times, um, but I'm becoming a damn good gunner. I'll let you know. I am able to shoot stuff with a flat cannon pretty damn well off the bow of our sub, and I'm quite proud of that. It's about all I can do though. Kreshar does a lot of the work, and Joe, Joe and Kreshar, they uh, they basically man the ship and do everything. I just sit there and blast stuff, and I'm damn good at it. Hey, Nathan's here in chat. Slams fist on table while foaming at the mouth. Oh my god. Uh, where have you fucking been, Burr? You bad, bad meat, <laughs> bad meat. You've been gone for a month and had us worried sick. <laughs> yeah, right. A month. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. A month. Okay, I'm not, to be fair, a month in internet land is pretty long. I mean, effectively four days. I was gone for four days, which is not unheard of. But I get it. It was a while. We'll talk about that later when more people get here. But, yeah, I was gone for a little while. Needed a little break from Total War. Uh, hence why we're coming back to SFO. I wanted to try something different. All right. Okay, so... For his faction effects, unlock global recruitment. Beastman factions normally cannot recruit globally. Right, that's true. Huh. Oh, that's dope. Okay. So that is specific to SFO. Dread cost minus 20% for all unit capacity upgrades. Okay, I believe that's standard. I'm not going to be able to distinguish everything that's unique to SFO, what SFO introduces, um, changes, versus what's vanilla, just because um, some of it I will be able to, because I played Beastman not that long ago. Uh, but it's been a while since I've played Katzrak, so it's it's going to be kind of uh, murky as to what you know what's what. But you know, I'll, some of the things I'll be able to address, like like this year, this is definitely SFO. Evasion chance when using the Beast Pass plus ten percent. That's cool. Ambush success chance plus ten percent. Maybe I'll take that. Experience gain for units plus twenty five percent when fighting against the Empire. Not bad. Unique unit mutated Warhound. Right, he's got his hound effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll be using some hounds in this playthrough. That's, that does so, sound kind of fun. Plus, they'll be pretty damn effective in chasing down Empire archers and whatnot. Uh, okay, his Lord effects reduce bestial rage penalties and detection chance when hidden in Camet stance. So that's nice. I like that. That's a huge, at least in vanilla, and, and it holds true in SFO, the hidden encampment stance is incredibly powerful. It's one of the main strengths of the Beastman, really. Okay, so additionally, Attribute it gives Vanguard deployment for all God Gores and Bestigore units. So, ooh, excellent, good. So Vanguard for all of our, our infantry, melee infantry for the most part. Um, Vanguard deployment for race gore chariots, cool. Enables poison attack for all Ungor units, which is kind of neat. It, it, that applies to Ungor raiders and their their pew pew, their bows get uh, poison attack, which is cool. We'll use some bows for sure. We'll, we'll definitely have them in the back pocket. Melee attack plus ten for warhound units. Wow, plus ten. Okay, so we'll definitely have a couple hounds for sure. Melee attack plus ten. That's that's nice. That's quite good. Uh, does he start with any? I don't know if he starts with any hounds. He still might, but even if he does, I, mean, I guess it's fine. It'll be easy to get. Plus, we do have some mobility off the bat. All right, so let's do this. Let's jump in. I would have joined in on the last stream on Sunday, but I was still fly fishing way up in the mountains, and I had to drive five hours back to Vegas. Oh, no worries, dude. Yeah, I saw your picture. I look fun out there. I hope you released that little guy that you had in your hand, though. He was... Not worth keeping, in my opinion. He was just a little little dude. But yeah, that was uh, that was very looked looked pretty up there in the mountains, for sure. Yeah, I'm envious. Yeah, it would have been nice. I've I've been in need of just a good hike into the mountains. I actually never been fly fishing, but I've hiked many a, a wooded stream, and have wanted to. Some of my friends do, some of my dad's buddies do, but my, my dad never got into it, and, he, and therefore I never really got into it, but yeah, it looks fun, though, definitely. I've done pretty much every other type of fishing, well, not every type, but a lot of other types of fishing, except for fly fishing. Oh, the one eye is gonna get you. I just imagine him just like trying to whip shit with no depth perception, just like ah. Like the dude's trying to wield a whip in battle and doesn't have any depth perception. You you need two eyes to wield a whip. And he's not gonna be any Indiana Jones there. Indiana Jones, he had two eyes. All right. 
What do we start here? A death caster, okay. Wow, even the panel's different color. Interesting. SFO does change a lot. The UI. It's got like a default brown. I like it. Okay, so it's straight. Rotten. Unit mass. Oh, cool, he's got regen. Dope. Okay, so this guy we can actually throw around in melee a little bit. Especially once he gets his... Okay, we'll wait till he gets his chariot, but... Nice. The mass will be nice for getting him in and out of cycle charges. That's good. Regen. Yeah, that's damn good. Okay. Cool. Bamu Death Herd. Okay. Hop on in there, Bamu. Oh gosh, right off the bat here, we're going to be fighting Wood Elves. It's uh, not ideal, but we'll make it work. Oh yeah, the legendary, the little orange icon, coloration, distinguishing yeah color there. I like that. I do recall that now. Oh bro, I caught hundreds of little brook trout the size of my hands. The only fish I end up keeping was a 10-inch brown trout. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's good. Yeah, I figured you were just like taking a picture of the little dude and throwing him back. But you caught a 10-inch brown trout. Nice. That's actually big. Yeah. That's fucking huge. That is that is actually for, for a brown trout, yeah. Brown trout are, um... Yeah, they're, uh... There's not many brown trout up here in Washington. There's some, but you have to go over to eastern areas. Um, most of the trout we have on this side of the mountain range, the Cascades, are uh, rainbow. <clears throat> but yeah. I, brown trout are fun. I ended up losing the giant rainbow. I'm still pissed about it. Oh yeah, they they fight hard. Trout are great. That's like when I think back of all the childhood memories I have of fishing, um, most of them are trout fishing. A lot of salmon fishing too in sockeye. We did a lot of that, but um, a lot of trout fishing. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh, way watchers. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, yeah, the renowned units. So if I remember correctly, some of the renowned units are the same. A lot of them are. Um, and some are a little different. Um, and some are are mostly the same, but may have, like, a different to their a difference to their um, unique trait or skill or something like that so there is some variance here in sfo I, I i believe that still holds true hey alpha how's it going dude ahoy tom pot tea <laughs> I like all the, the the variations of teapot tom tom pot tea that's a good one i you see the dev update info for total war where i'm with three no i have not did that come out this morning i uh i woke up I slept in a little bit. Um, I just kind of putzed around. Oh, actually, no. I, I was in the process of making more smoothies. I Off screen, I have like three big tubs of different containers of powders and seeds and f dried fruit and stuff like that um, that I lug around and make my shakes in because sometimes I make my shakes here on the coffee table behind me. It looks really weird, I know, like in the middle of my living room. But... Uh, I just set up the frickin' Vitamixer and just go to town right there while I watch battle reports and other YouTube videos or whatever else. It's kind of fun. <clears throat> Alright. As he stares at me like, what are you doing, Dad? Why is that blender so loud? Shut up. Sorry, Izzy. Okay, so we start with one unit of Bestigor. The minutes are one Ungor Raider. No hounds. Yeah, kind of weird. But we can grab them though. All right, so we're limited on certain units as is normal now. The the beast minutes how they play. Unit caps for the vast majority of their units. Okay, so favor hearthstone shards. I think this is mostly the same. All this looks pretty much identical to how it is in vanilla. Um, but the tech tree is going to be a bit different. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah, tech tree is a lot different. This is going to take some interesting uh, navigation. Ooh, this looks good. I, I see that there. That's nice. I might have to go for that. What do we need to unlock that? Win four battles in a single turn. Okay, we can do that. 
passive ability guardian for lords and embedded heroes. That's pretty damn good too. That's good. So we're going to be focusing a lot on melee combat, which is typical B-spin, right? Um, but um, to play actually like uh, in game three, that is, with the B-spin, to play, I'd say, optimally, your, pr your best bet is just to spam lords uh, and Ungor raiders with bows since uh, they don't have a, they're one of the few units that don't have a cap. And you just have stacks of Ungor raiders running around, uh, which is good. But we're going to try to avoid that and focus more so on melee. It may not be ideal, but, yeah, we'll make it work. And so buffing up weapon strength, that kind of stuff, melee attacks is going to be important for our armies. Constant casualty replenishment rate plus 5%. Well, that seems pretty good. 10,000? That's way too... Okay, I wouldn't say too much, but that's still that's a ways off. We're not going to be making that much anytime soon. Charge bonus plus 20% when attacking. That seems decent. Even our best Agors, what's kind of cool is even our best Agors are going to have quite a bit of charge bonus. That's just something that's um, a part of the Beastman's play style. It's just charging in there, getting down and dirty. Um, hit and run. You know, they they uh, they pump and dump. They, they don't, you know, they don't last. But they hit really hard initially. Uh, they kind of fizzle out. But the idea is you hit so hard that enemy is not going to have time to recover from the initial attack. They're what's called a, or what's considered an alpha strike army. All right, just kind of looking around here. I'll look more in detail this later. I don't want to just, you know, explode my brain all at once here. We'll get there. Hey, Grimir. Good to see you, dude. Happy almost Monday. What day? It's Friday, right? It's Monday, your weekend. <laughs> I guess it is, I mean, yeah, got the weekend to go, but yeah, I guess Monday's not that far off, that is true. ASAP. Yeah, SFO, yeah, I figured it'd be kind of fun, you know, I haven't played it in a long time. I haven't played on the channel yet. This is our first SFO playthrough on the channel. So it's been, yeah, probably about a year and a half since I played SFO last. And it was in game two. I've not played um, SFO in game three yet. Because when I last played SFO, it was not for Game 3. Oh, okay, Alpha says... Uh, basically, future stuff. Okay, so CA talked about the future. I'll check it out after the stream. I'll go back and see what CA has stated. Um, adding some landmarks. Oh, good. I think landmarks are awesome. I think they're a great addition to every campaign. That's something I do like about SFO a lot, is that they do go in and change the landmarks a fair bit. And I love that. I think it adds a lot of flavor to the factions that you're playing. It adds a lot of uniqueness, creates incentive to go to certain areas in the map that you wouldn't otherwise want to be going into. Go after specific settlements because of the special building. I think it's a lot of fun. When you take away landmarks or limit them, um, just a lot of the luster is taken away from from the settlements themselves. They don't feel as special, you know? Uh, they plan to add the Sky By in the what? The Sky By intro to races in Immortal Empire games. Addition difficulty settings for armies governing the buffs AI gets. Oh, additional difficulty settings. Okay, so more customization into what the AI gets and how they're augmented. God, okay, that's good. Options are a good thing. Uh, customization is a good thing. I like that. In the short term, we go the uh, Zinch Kislev Cathay DLC coming in around a month. Right, right, yeah. Oh, I'm excited for that. Oh, I hope I get into the program before then. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, oh God, I hope I get in. Zinch Kislev Cathay, right, right. Yeah, I'm... I'm excited for that, especially Kislev, of those three. I mean, I love Zinch, don't get me wrong, and I like Thay too, but um, Katarin, you know, you can't go wrong with Katarin. Hellbrass is the hero in it. Oh, okay, Hellbrass. The changeling for Zinch, yeah, the changeling would be cool, yeah. I remember that tabletop model. I think he just got a new tabletop model not that long ago, actually. Like, he's the gangly guy with, like, the hood. 
I don't know if he's like an actual hood, but he's yeah, like the gangly little robe dude. Yeah, pretty dope. So yeah, hey guys, welcome, welcome. Hi Flojo, how's it going, dude? Hey Wilhelm, good evening, good morning, good day. It is eleven twenty-five in the morning here in Seattle. Hey stepsister trap. Way there. Hi guys. So um I wanna be fully transparent with you guys. I'm not gonna try to be someone I'm not or try to act fake. Um I suffer from clinical depression. Um it's something I've struggled with since I mean I was born with it. My it runs in my family, my dad has it. Um uh, I've been treated for it since I was 16 when my parents got divorced when I was in high school and it uh, was really hard on me. I don't want to go into too much detail, but um, it's impacted me and I don't have a lot of self-confidence despite being here on YouTube. Um, and I also have chronic migraines and when those two things occur simultaneously, it's really hard for me to do anything. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I left pharmacy is because I couldn't handle it because of my brain chemistry. Uh, it was not conducive to that workspace um, when I had to work 12-hour shifts. Um, and so that's why I opted not to go to pharmacy school. One of the reasons why that was my depression and chronic migraines just tore me apart. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I started streaming is because it's my attempt to take something I love, um, monetize it, sure, but it's something, it's, it's, it's taking a hobby and turning into a career that I could see myself, you know, sustainably doing for a long time and enjoying it and being, you know, decent at it. Um, and so one of the struggles of the past year has been finding that sweet spot of what's sustainable, what can I do? do that is uh, how, how much energy can I put into this venture um, such that it's uh, enough entertainment for you guys and it's not too draining for me to output that you know, for you regularly um, and so I we could talk about it more as the stream goes on at different points, but basically I'm going to be cutting back my streams a little bit. Um, not as frequently, and the streams won't be as long, because I need to eat more, I need to sleep more, um, sleep more regularly, um, and and not push myself to, to stream eight or nine hours, you know, five days a week, or even four days a week. Uh, my, my streams are going to be now about four to five hours, I'm going to do more shorts because they're a lot easier for me to do. They're less draining for me. I'm naturally an introvert. Um, so an introvert with depression, uh, <laughs> right? Um, and, and, and ADD. So, so yeah. Um, and, and now endeavoring down this new career choice, right? Or at least this, this venture. It's not a career yet really, but it's it's something I, I want to grow into that. Um and so yeah, I'm just I'm struggling to find that sweet spot, right? Of like output versus input, that balance. Trying to find balance. And we're all we're all, you know, on, on this journey of trying to find different balances in our lives, right? We're 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 all sharing similar struggles to some extent. For sure we're all human. But I just wanted to be transparent with you guys. That's what's going on. Um, I don't want to be streaming. I, I don't. I try not to be streaming when I'm feeling down. Um, I have before. Sometimes you guys have seen me when I'm in that type of headspace, and it's uh, it's not something I want you guys to see. Um, so I'm going to try to avoid uh, allow myself to get. Uh, fatigued both mentally and physically it's more so a mental thing um, that leads to uh, a headspace that is not conducive towards having fun and being here and being that the, the person I really am this like goofy nut job right um, 
Um, yeah, St streaming for me has been a great way for me to focus on the here and now and tap into that goofy side of me that um, when I'm when I'm in it, I forget about that depression. It's it's a relief for me. But I need to I need to tap into that first. And sometimes it's hard for me to get into that that um, the the moment the goofiness um, when I have that veil kind of over my eyes and, and everything is basically gloomy. Um, being able to on a daily basis remove that veil and and enjoy this game, enjoy other games, just enjoy life can be tricky. Um, so yeah, that's what I mean by the balance. Hope some of this makes sense to you guys. I, I didn't write a speech. I didn't, you know, this is just, I'm just, you know, just speaking from the heart right now. Um, but I did want to tell you guys about what's actually, you know, who I am and what's going on here. I'm not going to, you know, I, I don't want to try to lie to you, lie to you guys or cover it up or say something that it's not or say that I'm fine. I am okay. I'm okay. This is normal. This is something. I just want you guys to know that when I kind of become reclusive, it's not because I don't want to be, um, it's, it's not because I don't want to be around you guys. I may want to, but I know it's, it's, it just won't, it won't be a side of me that I want you guys to see. Does that make sense? I, I don't know. I'm not proud of myself in that sense when I feel really down and I'm not able to tap into that goofy fun side and be in the moment. I just rather just, I don't know. It's, I just need time to myself. And I think that's where being an introvert kicks in and it, I recharge when I'm alone. And it's hard for me to recharge when I'm in front of you guys. Does that make sense? So I need to find the balance of being alone or recharging versus tapping into that goofy fun side, which I know is good for me too. And finding that balance. And when I find that balance, I feel like it'll prevent that veil from being pulled down over my eyes. That's how I've thought about it the past couple of days. So, yeah. I'm going to read the chat for a second. Clinical depression gang rise up. I feel that. Yeah, it's. I, I know. I'm not. I'm not trying to be a special snowflake here. I'm just, just who I am. You know. And I, I know others out there, um, may be going through something similar. And that's another reason. One of the reasons why I started streaming is because I want other people to know that we can all relate. You know, in in, in many ways, in more ways than we think. We're not alone. Hey, bro, I'm just some redneck from Nevada, but all I could say is that if you're feeling depressed, just know all these people from around the world come to these streams for you. Thank you, Nathan. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I try to remind myself, too. Um, that I'm not alone. I got you guys. I got you guys. It's... I... I, I thought about quitting a couple days ago. I was... I was really down. Um, and felt what I was doing, uh, for a second, I, for half the day, I felt like what I was doing was pointless, which is not true, which is not true. Um, I know in my heart it's not true because you guys told me it's not true. It's real. I, I can't ignore the evidence that is you guys, right? Saying that you're here to watch me be a goofball. Um, I need to hold on to that truth sometimes, guys. It's, it's easy for me to forget. So if you guys have been enjoying these streams, um, or whatever I'm doing, if you guys have been enjoying me being here, please let me know. Um, if in the, the re-upload you guys see this, let me know in the comments. Because um, it could be hard for me. It could be hard for me to be here sometimes. Uh, as much as I do like being here, I'm not always in the headspace that's conducive to showing my best sides. And um, I, I want you guys to know that it's um, it's just a part of who I am, and something I like struggle with at least to some extent every day. Um, but you guys, I've said this before, you guys make this process a whole lot more fun and interactive, and I'm doing it for you. Um, 
So let me know. Let me know in, in the comments, guys, or in the chat here now if, if you guys have been um, enjoying what I'm doing. I need to hear that reinforcement. It'll help keep me going. I've been wondering how the teapot survives on nothing but protein shakes. I eat in the evenings. Um, but yeah, I eat mostly or drink mostly liquids and like fruit and nuts during the day. But I, I eat in the evenings. Yeah, don't worry. I like stir fries and beef stew and stuff like that. But I do need to eat more during the day. Um, or at least drink more protein shakes. More Korean fried chicken. Mmm. That sound good. Hey, old Jor. How's it going, buddy? I just want you to enjoy some armor with you when you feel like it. Awesome. Thank you, Grimir. Thank you. Even without goofiness? Okay. <laughs> I know I could be a stern asshole sometimes. I get it from my dad. My dad's very, like, my real dad. Also, she suffers from depression. He's very robotic. It's kind of like the Terminator. <laughs> Apathetic because of depression. Yeah, I know how that goes. Like, missed the time to subscribe at university for my dream job because I wasn't able to do anything stupid to of gaming. Yep. Yeah, I feel that. Eats fruits and nuts. You sure you're a teapot and not a squirrel? I, basically, kind of what a squirrel does, yeah. We enjoy the content, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Oh, thank you, Alpha. Thank you, buddy. Makes me happy. Okay, so, enough about me. Let's tap back into the world that is Warhammer. Let's do it. Okay. Certainly not. All right. Uh, there's going to be some new factions too, I think. That's a foe. Not like any major factions, but some of the minor factions I think might be new. Okay. Not only enjoying content, but also the personality and voice. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> don't listen to Alpha. You want the best diet. Meat, meat, and more meat. Oh, and lots of whiskey. Well, I don't drink, really, but... Um, I used to drink a fair amount of bourbon. So, yeah, I like whiskey, but... Yeah, not anymore. But I do eat a lot of meat still, too. I eat a mixture of... Well, I do eat a lot of fruits and seeds and nuts, but I also, yeah, don't don't worry, I, I eat meat too. I eat most things except raw tomatoes and mustard. I hate, I hate that crap. Get out of here. All right. Let's grab some dogs. Oh, wait, so our, okay. Our recruitment is not instantaneous, but it is one turn right and free. Okay. Um, let's see. Stance Ruination. Oh, yeah. So, the, ah, yeah, stances are new. And then SFO, for many of the factions, uh, these stances of said faction are different. There may be changes to the existing ones that exist in vanilla, but there may be new stances entirely. Like, I feel like this Ruination stance, I'm pretty sure this is unique to SFO. We construct an extra siege tower. That's interesting. Range penalty, 25% to adopt it. Okay. Lowered post-battle loot. That's interesting. Melee attack plus 5% lane siege and missile resistance and line siege. Okay. That's... Hmm. Okay. I like the penalty to the post-battle loot, but it's all right. Gathering herds. Passive experience, 500. That's called. That's a lot. Extra experience gain by 10%. Oh, rampage. The whole army has rampage? Oh, God. I don't know if I like that. I don't like Rampage all that much, whatsoever, actually. Well Hidden Encampment. Ah, okay. So, I, we're going to be jumping between these two stances the most, I believe. Well, and our standard one, because that uh, allows us a chance of ambushing enemy armies when we attack them. 
I want Beast Pass as well. Okay, so I take that back. Most of these stances will be pretty useful to us. So, the Hidden Encampment, Immune to Mouse Attrition, Constant Capture Replenish, Punish, but plus 5% damage defense, or Success Chance, 20%. Discover. Okay, yeah, so even when we're in camp, we have a chance to ambush armies that are moving about, which is pretty neat. So we, we actually try that now. So we can't reach anybody. Let's just grab some more units. Um, well, we're not going to wait two turns. Yeah, let's grab some hounds. Just need that speed. What about fighting apath apathetic? Yeah, apathy. Mm -hmm. uh, Want to try to stream too, but the drawing session just to force myself to do that. What I really like and can. Yeah, right. Yeah, I I know what it's like to be apathetic. Um, what's the medical term? Um, anhedonia. Yeah, anhedonia. I know what that's like. Yeah, it's um, it it's it's frustrating when you lose that feeling of passion for something that you know you have, and it goes away. And it can be hard just to like make uh, get up to do something that you know you love to do, like working out for myself, um, playing video games. Like there's you know when I'm depressed, it's it's even video games doesn't sound appealing to me a lot of the time. Usually it does. But sometimes nothing sounds interesting or worthwhile to do. And I I hate feeling like that. Absolutely hate it. Okay, well since we're gonna be here for a little while. Grab that. What did I do again? Hold on. Oh yes, yeah, the passive trip. That's really important. I like getting this out early. Yeah. So that, uh, that really adds up. It's something you want to build with all of your lords, too, because the more lords you have, the more passive uh, dread you can be gaining per turn. And in the later game, that can really add up. We'll probably will try to stream on YouTube this next week. Uh, the drawing process of the art I talked about earlier. Oh, fun, Lord Jar. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll watch you. you know, let me know when you get that going. And also, you can, uh, you can promo on my Discord, too. You know that, of course. You're welcome to do that. But yeah, that would be fun. I'll come watch it. I want to see you do the art, because, yeah, you're a very good artist, dude. How Noculus returned home and Vlad, see him in uh, the Necrofex army. Okay, yeah, that'll be fun, too. Yeah, just have fun with it, dude. Yeah, it's, uh, enjoy it. Streaming is a lot of fun. It, it is, as much as I say it is draining. And it is. It's also very fun and rewarding. Oh, he's Aura Taddy. Oh, he's... Okay, he's got a few settlements, I see. Well, we're ambushing here. Um, there's a chance we'll just catch this guy when he's out and about, which is kind of cool. I already clicked on that. We don't need to do that. All right. All right, move on. Okay. Fucking Taddy. Probably have to actually have to fight Taddy here soon. The one eye versus the stash of all stashes. Alright. What is this? Welcome to the Simple Fun Overhaul. Huh. Okay. Oh, just decided to show us this on turn two. Okay, interesting. Would have expected this at the very beginning. It's all right. Cool. I don't remember that little note being in uh, SFO 2. That's cool. All right, the Black Pit, I believe, is a capital. Yeah, it's got walls. Okay. Uh, maybe we should go over here. I don't want to pick on a capital right now.
never knew that's what SFO stood for. Hey, Matthew. Actually, it, it used to not mean that. I guess it does now because that was an official message, but it used to back in the day before it became Grimhammer. SFO stood for Steel Faith Overhaul. So, which is what I thought it still meant, but apparently not. It's been changed to Simple Fun Overhaul, which I guess it's probably more marketable. Steel Faith Overhaul, yeah. Um, yeah, let's go pick on... I'm already at war with Toddy. But Midnight's also capital. I don't want to fight a capital right now. The Widows. Hold on, is that... Let's take our hero go scout up here for a second. Is that army up there? Yeah, okay. Well, crap. Um, yeah, let's just go pick on Wrecker's Point. Just kind of head over there, that's so why we recruit more. The one eye. Alright, we'll grab. Let's grab some more archers, yeah. Three of them. That'd be good. Okay. Let's pick one over here. I just want to prey on easy targets right now. I'm going pretty well, Matthew. How are you? Yeah, it was Steel Faith Overhauls. Yeah. Yeah, that's what originally it was named. Yeah. Alright. Let's grab... One more archer, one more hound. Yeah, should be enough. Fairly, fairly well balanced. I want to get a Gorbel in here. I don't really like Gorbels. Especially now that they're um, not able to be super super gorble and fly through the air as if they had no mass, as much as that was funny to watch have happen. It was frustrating as well. You're like, nah, not supposed to be flying gorble. You're supposed to weigh three thousand pounds. All right. So, let's just declare war on him, whatever. No reason to talk to Tonic, because we're at war with him, too. Blah! Should we put our first stone here? Yes. I didn't check to see what's what in terms of uh, ritual value, but it's okay. Doesn't really matter. Hey, Mildly. How's it going, dude? None yet, but soon, soon. These these guys here are gonna get barbecued here pretty soon. We'll toss them onto the, the old Bobby. Can you show unit roster for B spin SFO? Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll look at it here soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, best of course can be yeah. So there's um. Yeah, let's, let's remind ourselves. We can take a look here. Well, it's going to be in the building tree, isn't it? So, yeah. Where's the best to Oh, weird. Where are they? I thought there's different varieties. The mutated warhound. Oh, yeah, that's our legendary beast. It's just a giant warhound. Yes. Um, well, maybe it's in the tech tree, actually. Yeah, I think this is how we unlock. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here they are. Corn gore. Slain gore. Pestigore. And Zangor. Zangor are actually archers. Yeah. 
Corn Gore dual wield. Slain Gore have two handed, uh, or they have like glaives. Yeah, great weapon glaives. Nurgle, like mace shield. Yeah, pretty cool. Alright, and I think there, is there, let's see, there's the basic variety too. Are there the different types to. No, there's not. Okay, that's, yeah. All right. I was wondering if there's different corn type or different god types for the um, Minotaurs, but I don't think so. I think there's just a standard. Yeah. Well, that buffs up all of the best eh? Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, we'll want discipline. That seems really good. Increased melee defense, speed, and replenishment rate. Yeah, that seems really good. Oh, yeah. Hey, Robert Dibble, my stepdad coming in with some memberships. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Yeah, let's see. Wilhelm, Canuco, Chris Shepard, given a gift membership. <laughs> Thanks again. Got my dudes here. It's fun when you uh, when there's gifts given. You can see you in chat. I see you in Nirbin. <laughs> I see you, Chris. It calls out the lurkers. There's no hiding from me. All right, so we got our sneaky stone here. Oh yeah, it's a port. Hmm. It's actually not bad. Increases. Challenges plus five percent. Nice. Okay. Lowers attrition and increases replenishment rate for all armies in the province. Okay. Yeah. You lose a building slot, but you know, it's all right. Oh, the upper left corner. Right. Oh yeah, SFO settings. Cool. Too much. Don't look at that right now. All right. So let's start on. Well, what's available? Probably just this. What does this do? Weapon strength when fighting against dwarves, isles, wood elves, dark elves, and men. Okay. All right. So. We could go pick on, well, let's take a look when the turns pass. Let's take a look at the value of these settlements as to how much they'd add to our ritual. Yeah, it is a lot. It's very expensive. Yeah, look all the, how much money you have to spend to unlock the majority of this crap. 10G apiece. Woo. So I think it's to compensate for the fact that we have no upkeep. Um, we just have to put a lot of money into certain tech. And it makes you... It doesn't make you, but it um, somewhat forces you to be choosy about what you're wanting to research because it just simply costs so much so makes it tough to get it all yeah and there's some, definitely some good stuff here we're going to be focusing on the ones that allow us to recruit different types of pestigore or not necessarily pestigore but um bestigore is what i meant to say Probably just grab them all, but each one is 10,000 just to unlock. Yeah, each type. Huh. We'll probably go with Pestigore first, because I'm a, I'm a Nurgle boy. I've never seen SFO in action. Oh, that's right, Sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you'll like it. It's an overhaul for sure, but a lot of, you know, it's fundamentally similar. All right, so cast rack. Should we just go declare war on Marienburg? Or we could get, grab this treasure right here. Oh, we have options. 
So how much is this worth? Four here, that would add four to the ritual. Sixth pit. So all of these are connected. We could just go around a big loop and take out all these places. We could grab a second lord to use as bait too. Maybe we should do that. Maybe. We don't need that now, though. Maybe when we get over here and need to bait out some armies, we can go do that with a second lore. But for now, I think we're okay. Let's just move you up. Let's go to this path. Sure. Could grab some more units, but no. Yeah. Underway to, oh well. Yeah, oh, that's true, Drawer. Yes, there's certain capitals of certain... Of the most of the main factions, their specific capitals um, give uh, our herd stones, if put there, a special global effect. Which is pretty cool. I wonder if those would change in SFO. They might be. Ooh, here we go. A brace shaman. We already have one of those. So let's grab the gorbel. Yes. Rick, dear. It's actually kind of fun to say. Get in there, Rugidu. Now let's just clear War of Marienburg because they're in our way. Get out of the way. Should we just fight this one? Why not? Need a little fight. How do you unlock Saigors with the Beastmen? Um, there's a certain building. Yeah, and then you have to increase your, your capacity, so it's, it's two things. You have to make the building for it in your horror tree, and then you have to increase your capacity using dread. Yeah. For the SFO, it makes combat super slow and gives uh, all factions the same toolbox of units, true or false. I don't know about the second part, but it does slow down combat a bit, yeah. Things just have more hit points. So it's a little slower. Oh, this feels weird to be playing this again. It's like we're riding a tricycle. Alright. Let's see, they do have a mortar. Should we just stay out of the range of the mortar? Probably. Actually, it's just run in there. Who cares about a mortar? We'll put our hounds on this side. Yeah, they have Vanguard. All right. Hang out over there. And our Cherry can hang out over here. Oh, yeah. Our whole freaking army has Vanguard. Except for our Minotaurs, which is kind of annoying. But luckily, they're pretty fast. Yeah, look at this crap. Oh, my God. We're going to be on them so quickly. These guys over to the side, why not? Pew, 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 pew. Space that out. Joy shock, joy shock. Kind of spread out these guys. The more elite units around the flanks. Mintaris can catch up. Hero Goon Squad. Oh, Castrex also Vanguard. The One Eye. Is the slow combat less tedious, though? I don't know. I think it depends on the person. Some people like the slowed combat, other people don't like it. So it's, it's a preference thing. Sorry, Shuck. Still got it, baby. We are fast. We are fast indeed. Whoop, forgot. Our goon squad, oh well. 
See how their lines are taking less damage. Things are just more durable. I kind of like it though. I mean, stuff still dies pretty quick, you know? It's not that much slower. Oh yeah, get in there, Gorbel. Like in SFO, rear charge and that kind of stuff is perhaps a bit more important. Just to force things to break a little easier, quicker. It does that normally, in, in, you know, not an SFO either. It's just part of the game mechanics, but um, to bypass the high health of everything, you kind of sh brute shock, you know, break formations instead of taking out the health of a unit. Look at these guys. Ah. Uh oh, they're just gonna get ground pounded. The donut hole. Oh, look at this guy. What are we at here? Oh, get circle, circle beaten. Uh oh, he found you. Oh. Get him. Tear him up, guys. <laughs> there we go. He found the juicy center. Oh, yeah. The cream filling. Get it. All right. You guys are just... They've made a donut. They're uh, inadvertently protecting those guys. Let us get to the juicy center. There we go. Weird, you guys can just not attack them? There we go, just chop them up. Chop them. Okay, let's try this. Silly little Ungor. There we go. Leave it to the beefcakes. Let's do it. There we go. There we go, we got to the center. <laughs> Good enough. I feel like those spears when people started moshing around me at my first concert, yeah. <laughs> me too, actually, yeah. Okay. Still feels completely unresponsive. Yeah, maybe a bit. We'll experiment more with that. Uh, my piece could barely handle the Skaven fights due to the change troop sizes. Yeah, unit sizes are accentuated depending on uh, the style of troop they're meant to be. So elite units are even less models, uh, and fodder or chaff units are even more models per unit. Um. Is an advance. Oh, he went back the wrong direction. Ah, it's frustrating. I don't want to go that way. Oh, well. I 
I'll grab Spirit Leech. Alright. Yeah, we'll be doing a lot of diplomacy, obviously. We're beast, man. We're just going to declare war on things. Stomp around. Hey, Wolf Squall. How you doing, buddy? Okay. So, oh my god, look how far we just... We just regressed the whole turn back up north. Ah... So frustrating. I've seen so many Barbie Oppenheimer comparison videos on YouTube now that I don't. Um, what? 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 What does Oppenheimer have to do with Barbie? I've been. I haven't looked into it. And Oppenheimer looks all right. I I saw the trailer once. It looks okay. Is there actually a Barbie movie coming out? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even want to look at it. Don't even want to know about it. Das Weeb. Das Weeb. Alright, let's move you. Send them to Maryburg. Let's just go for it. Stay hidden though. Uh, let's grab spear shields. Probably is our best bet for now. And I think dread costs are probably oh, wrong button. Oh, crap. Um. Yeah, the prices seem about the same. I think there is some fluctuation between vanilla and SFO, but. Uh, to look at the exact comparisons here. But r roughly about the same. Okay, the lords, yeah, I think they're about the same as well. 1200 heroes, yep. Yeah. Upgrades, it looks the same. Do they change the items, I wonder? Do they, do they add replenishment back to... No, they didn't, damn. That's yeah, not nearly as good as it used to be. All right, so the items, I think, are the same as they are in vanilla. These ones are good. I need, to, I need to get these on all of our characters, basically. I like that. Yeah. They're coming out at the same time, so it means happen just like Animal Crossing and Doom. Oh, got it. It's like Animal Crossing and Doom. Barbie Oppenheimer. All right, let's do, what does this do? Own armies faction-wide. Is it 5%? Yeah, 5% of tier five. Okay, well that would add up for sure. 5% for each army. And it stacks, okay. That'd be most of our money though right now. Uh, let's hold off on that. We'll get there. Let's save our pot points. Yeah, raise her stones where there fights. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I, I like putting her stones in a kind of centralized area where I know I'm going to be, yeah, basically hitting big settlements with a lot of destruction points or whatever they're called. So I can make fat rituals. All my rituals to be saucy. Um, I usually go with the replenishment one or the movement range one. I don't see these ones can be good too, depending on if they're the if they're low end dreaded cost for units that you're wanting to emphasize. Uh, that seems decent. Let's grab that one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we can actually reach Gorsal. Let's do it. Arr. Okay, good, good. good. Pyrrhic, yeah, we'll fight this one for sure. Okay. Shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, we'll do this. I 
Yeah, full stack of Vanguard Bestigore, all four flavors. Ooh, gonna be so fast. Especially the Slangor. You can use the Slangor kind of like, kind of like heavy calf. Like shot cap, I mean. Same thing. Mobility on the flanks. It's fun having Vanguard chariots. Alright. We could do is kind of split up like that. Yeah, it's probably the best use for archers on the tuna group as well. You could be six like that. Shock. And look at just look at that, just right in their face. Just what do you do? <laughs> yeah, you die. That's what happens. You get. Run over by the Haggard Horde. Alright. You guys are just gonna have to catch up. Kazzy, you get in there. Alright. Let's go. And go after him. Of the archers. Kazrak getting in there. So the slower battles will actually allow us to zoom in and get a little more cinematic, which is actually you know, pretty cool. Oh, this, that. Oh, crap, they have a mortar. Fact. I have forgotten about the Volta. Hey, I've forgotten about the shells. Sophisticated full charge strategy, right? Does it need to be sophisticated? No. Will it make any difference? Probably not. See, not that much longer. They they still get corrupt. Try shock, try shock. I'm done. I need a little centralized nuggets of uh, spearmen holding out. I don't see him. Oh, Cassie. Dude, this guy's gonna get the one eye. How much bigger Kazrak is. He's a giant. Kazrak's like eight feet tall. Oh, where'd he go? He's got the one eye, he just has no death perception. Can't hit him. Best to go are 55 speed, 90 armor. Ooh, baby. Look at these guys. Oh my god. Meanwhile, just whip him. All right, hounds. I don't know if you're helping the situation. You're probably not. Here, over here. All right, come on, Cashback. You can do it. I think he is applying damage. Yeah, I see his health going down. Good. Come on. You can do it. Focus. Squint. Why? Get you. 
Oh my god, finally. What an eye. <laughs> oh man. I shouldn't give him a hard time. That, that would be hard with one eye. That would be tough. Too American style. <sighs> Just making fun of America. I don't consider it American humor me because that's I'm a, I'm you know from the U.S. So I'm biased. I have no idea. The Napoleon film. Yeah, I'm curious about the Napoleon film. But I haven't seen anything about it yet. I haven't seen any... Are there trailers for it? I haven't even looked. Dune 2. Yeah, I'm very excited for Dune 2. Yeah. I'm probably going to see that movie several times. Hey, Bob Moldy. What's up, dude? What's the SFO mod all about? Um, excuse me. You know, I get burpy. Um, it's something I haven't tried in quite a while. I just wanted to give it a shot again. I haven't used it in Game 3 at all. Um, you know, I've played many campaigns in the past using SFO in game, through Games 1 and 2, but it's just been you know, a year and a half or so. I wanted something fresh. I wanted to keep things fresh for me and uh, lower potential for burnout. So I decided to go with it. Different flavors of Best of Gore sounded fun. So let's do that one again. God, it runs the wrong direction. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to select the other one from now on just so, so I don't run in the wrong direction anymore. Holy crap. At least it gives you some movement back so you can just... You use the extra movement to go back to where you were. They need to change that, in my opinion. It's like, why give us the extra movement we're just gonna have to use that movement to get back to where we were. Yeah, silly. Anyways, I like campaigns to be shorter. Yeah. What do you um you mean to the the victory conditions? Because you can just stop whenever you want, really. But if you, if you mean the actual victory conditions, yeah. So talent trees are another aspect of SFO that are usually changed in most cases, at least some, some extent, some extent. So it's worth going through and, and looking at any potential changes. These seem pretty similar, although the numbers are a little different. Let's go with the replenishment. It's a constant casual replenishment of 6%. That seems pretty good. So just balance things and add more units. Um, yes. Uh, it makes things more similar to how they are on the tabletop. Yeah. I'll go into more detail as we, as we go through battles and stuff like that. But yeah, it um, makes things a little more tabletop-esque. Hmm. Changes a number of things. But it's, it's fundamentally the same thing. All right that okay but yes there are some new entirely new units like as Kasrak our unique unit our legendary unit is um, oh, not from that we get it from oh yeah building tree um, here this guy the mutated war hound so he's a, he's a giant hound Monster. Yeah. Legendary unit, so you can only have one of them. It's a duelist with fast attacks. It's capable. It's a capable young hound. Scale skin, which is something, or it's a mutation. Scale skin, that's cool. Physical resistance, melee attack. 
increases cooldowns. Oh, so it's a stance. Increases his army or armor. Physical resistance lowers melee attacks. Makes him tankier. So it's different uh, stances. Think of them as stances, but they're mutations. But they act as different stances you can put them in. He's got Stinger. It's a bonus for infantry. Well, that makes him like a. Yeah, so depending on what kind of play style you want out of him, you can put him in a different mutation. Vigorous. Well, that's kind of cool. That's good resistance. Causes tear. Um. It's got a little AoE debuff. Bestial Reckless Hate. Interesting. Strider. He's got Vanguard. Cool. Siege Attacker. Yeah, so he's, you know, 100 speed. So he's a big mobile beast. Discourage. Nice. It's decently hard. Duelist. So he'll be good against other characters. That's probably what I'll, we'll use him for. Yeah. Very short campaign would be good. 50 to 70 hour turns. Yeah. Sounds about right. I feel like I can achieve short victory in about 80 turns, usually, yeah. Uh, if I'm focused on it, but usually, I don't know. Get lost to other things and happen to achieve, you know, short victory randomly. I'm like, oh, because I beat it. Fun fact every week, Tom donates some of his tea to the hospital tea bank. <laughs> the tea bank of the hospital. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. So, yeah. It'll be kind of fun to get the Hound. It is tier 5. But, yeah, we should be able to get there pretty quickly, I think, once we start fighting a lot of battles. We, we start pumping up growth points quite quickly. If I recall correctly. So. Alright, Marienburg, 14 Garrison. Alright. Oh, we made a little money. It's good. Mine is a pop point, though. Arr! Three turns. What a second one. Yeah, let's hold off on that, then. I want to save our pop points. After we hit Marienburg, I think we'll have the, the extra pop point for that building. <laughs> Tea is greater than blood, perhaps. Perhaps. Oh, no. I need to drink more tea. I did order some more yerba mate. It's on the way. Some loose leaf yerba mate. Oh, yeah. It should be arriving today, so I should have it tomorrow. Be juiced up on that stuff tomorrow. Mmm, it's quite tasty. I'm drinking coffee today. Actually, I made a mocha. Effectively, I added in some cacao powder. It's just straight cocoa powder. Um, and a little um, maple syrup for a sweetener, and a little almond milk that makes it like a, a mocha coffee. All right. I can't see what's down there. Let's send uh, let's send our gorbel down there a little bit. Oh. Oh, it's Toddy. What do you got there, Toddy? No. I was hoping that was a talisman of preservation. Guy, he's got his Midland Rune thing already. Oh, gosh. Um, okay, can we beat that army? Probably. We need some better magic. Which, yeah. Just need to get our character leveled up here. Our caster. What's his name again? Bamu. Bamu. Teapot Tom, greater than Coffee Cup Tim. Coffee Cup Tim. <laughs> yeah, screw him. Um, well, yeah, it's just kind of scooch down there, I guess. And stay encamped. Toddy wants to fight as he can. Hopefully he just runs into our ambush. Coffee cup Carl. <laughs> Coffee cup Carl. Alright. Come on, Toddy. Run into our camp. Son of a gun. 
You saw any of the Baldur's Gate 3 info? Uh-uh, I'm not. I need to look into that game a bit more. I just haven't been, I don't know. I've been pretty down the past couple days, and so... I haven't really looked into video games all that much. I've been watch watching a lot of battle reports, tabletop fantasy stuff, um, and playing Barrow Trauma. But I haven't really looked into any other games... But I, I do I do want to. I am interested in Baldur's Gate 3. I, should, I, I will. Once I get the motivation. I'll get there. I'll get there. Yeah, Kanuko streamed it last week. And uh, mildly annoyed me streaming it too. I've seen. Must be decent at least. Um... What? This is an ultimatum. Yeah. You'll need to have liked Divinity Originals and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. It seems a lot like Divinity. Yeah, I, I, I love Divinity Originals and I did beat that. I played it with Joe. I, we co opted together and it was badass. We each controlled two characters, which I thought was good. So we had a, a team of four and like. Each controlled two of the, the people. It was it was cool. Yeah, so I I think I'll like Baldur's Gate three. I'm almost certain of it. But I'll let it come out first, and you know, give it a little time to. I don't know. I mean, on one hand, I want to give it some time, but on the other, I should probably stream it when the hype is real. You know, I'm bad about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty bad about that. Um, oh, you're finishing your first tabletop box. Nice, up sister trap. Cool, cool. What'd you get again? I don't know if we talked about this. What's your first box? I remember my first box. It was, uh, I got Space Marines, Ultramarines, of course, back in 1997. I got a box of uh, Devastators and the starter, the paint starter one that gives you like a, a tax squad of like five dudes and some paints. Yeah. It does take a lot of time. Yep. Yep. The assembling. Yeah. The building process is. I, I, thankfully, I enjoy the building process and assembling the miniatures, but it is. Some people hate it. Some people absolutely hate it. Echoes of Doom. Oh, nice. Oh, you got a big box set. Nice. Sylphanus plus Skaven. Dope. Very cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. The, the, uh, the box sets are a really good deal. Yeah, you can save a lot of money that way. Yeah, they're usually like the best, the best form of deals by the box sets. It's really get you. Uh, well, I guess hmm, how much? Nine hundred. We have four thousand. Screw you. We're Kazrak. We don't take ultimatums from anybody except ourselves. Or tie to go. Danny. This guy's name. Elgar Thuringmanan. Alright, what do we got here? 14 garrison. It's got a mortar. Um, should we just fight him? Oh no, our stone. Nair. Ah, our stone's gonna be lost. Oh, well, we could put a stone out of Marienburg, I guess. What's nice is if we lose a stone, it automatically refunds us, which is dope. So it makes losing stones not that big of a deal. I mean, yeah, you'll lose the money you spent on it, building it up. Sure. But you get back the stone itself, which is kind of neat. So by losing this stone here, we'll, you know, it could refund it to us, and then we could put a stone out of Marienburg, perhaps. Mayhap. A valiant defeat, my butt. 
Alright, I think I know the settlement. Is this the big one? I think it's the big one. Oh, no, different. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Wish I had some harpies, though. Damn it. That ward is going to be kind of a bitch, isn't it? Uh, it's okay. We can waste the ammo somehow. Yeah, I'll figure it out. We'll find it out. All right, I'm going to go potty, guys. Be right back. Be right back. Building pile of shit posts. <laughs> Oh, man. It's turned into a nice day. I instinctively went to go turn on the fireplace, but then I realized it's going to be hot as balls outside in about an hour. Ah, the glorious three months out of the year where it's actually not cool. Slash rating. <clears throat> Rum bottle Dan. <laughs> hey Dan. Rum bottle Dan. That's good. Arr, Dude, I used to drink a fair amount. I uh, I was a rum guy too. Like I like bourbon. You know, I, I like old fashions a lot. Old fashions are probably my favorite drink. But I have a soft spot for spiced rum for sure. Oh, it's good. Tommy, don't need no free heat. That's communism. <laughs> so, yeah, it's true. All right. Oh, yeah, this base. Oh, man. I haven't played this one in a while. Holy crap. Look at it. Look at it. When you turn up the graphics, you can really see out really far. Damn. Depth of field is crazy. You can see over there. Look at the, wow. Okay. A whole new world. World of Warhammer. Do we need a World of Warhammer? So I can just live in it. Is there any place I can hide? I mean, look at this pretty valley. 
This is gorgeous. This is where I live out here. The wife, a couple kids. Nice little life. Live off the land. Little teacup babies. All right, let's focus. All right, blind spot here. Let's put you, I'm liking what we've been doing here. We'll keep the chariots on one side, or yeah, the chariots. I say plural, but it is just one unit of, of four models, you know what I mean. You guys hang out back here. We'll keep the hounds back there. Oh, cool bridge, let's notice that. Two bridges. The fishing dock. There's a little fishing community down there. It's cool. I grew up making train sets and stuff, so I like the terrain. It's why I like, I don't know, a, a little, a part of me, like a nostalgic little kid in me is like, oh, you know, I just think of the train sets I put together as kids. My, with my dad and my sister. That's why I, I enjoy terrain and, and scenic views, as you guys can tell. All right. Um, let's just space these guys out, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna focus on this spot here. They, get, they do have a mortar though, so let's stay back. Until we waste the ammo of it. Either we waste the ammo or just charge in and don't give a shit. Um, what are the future Tom PC plans? Any future upgrades in the next few years? Yeah, a couple years from now, but I'm good for now. My processor's good, my my GPU's fine. I have a 3080 and um, a Ryzen 7 5800X or something like that. It's, it's pretty decent. 32 gigs of RAM. Yeah, in a couple of years. I'll probably get uh, 5,000 series graphics card when the time comes, but not for a couple years. You guys need to buy me a gaming laptop so I can do hot tub streams. Let's not forget our deal. Uh, let's move you up here. Actually, no, stay back. Let's see if we can entice them to shoot mortars at you. That'd be useful. Let's just get on the wall and we can decide, but let's keep our infantry back because I don't know where the mortars are going to be. Probably way in the back. The mortar probably won't be able to fire out to like here, but as soon as I get onto the walls, the mortar is going to be firing at us. Uh, the minotaurs aren't going to be useful. We're going to need them to go through a gate. Maybe I might send them over here actually. Yeah, stay back there. Where are they? Oh, they're there. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't need a GP anytime soon. Alright, let's just get you up there. Actually, yeah, I should have sent you over there at the Minotaurs. They'll do that. Yeah, head over there. Crossbows there. About over here. Damn, they put crossbows on all the freaking gates. Interesting. That's okay. I need to be careful though because I don't have any AoE. It's just gonna be a big chop fest. Okay, there's their mortar. Hold on. Let's go through the gate instead. I'm gonna keep an eye to see if I can get some of these guys to come off the wall. See, like these guys here? Good. Let's take one of our hound units down here. I need these guys to leave. I'm gonna try to approach like up here, see if I can get this guy to come off the wall. Firing mortars. Come on, get in there. Oh. Juke. 
It's good we're taking a little damage. Yeah, Gates have a bit more health too, I think. Best going to take out the mortar. Oh, it's going to be hard to get to them, though. Yeah, they're moving back, protecting them here pretty well. Clever. I can't get around that way, though. Here we go. That's our way in, I think. Let's bring you guys up. That gate's almost down. How's this one? Did they open the gate? I think they did. Hold on. No, no, they didn't. Okay. Crossbows are still up there. Just taking a while. That's fine. Good, it's down. Okay. Let's, um... Here, hounds, you stay back. But, Kazrak... Here's the mortar. Okay. Damn, they didn't move. Fuck, stay back. Oh, fuck, they're on the tower now. Ah. Yeah, it's being very defensive right now. And effective in where they're placing their ranged units. Alright, we may just have to get on the walls now. We're gonna have to take some mortar shots, it's alright. Come on. Yeah, they're gonna shoot us up. Arr. Oh, Kasrak. Oh, he's taking shots. Damn it. I know they could hit him from there. Oh, I need magic. Start spiritualing their lord, I guess. Good, get up there. Uh, Kazrak, actually, yeah, just climb up there and fight this guy. Fight these archers. Oh, I've been really sloppy about him. It's alright. Get this gate down, guys. Come on. I feel like they're just not taking... Someone's not doing damage here. wasn't applying damage. These hounds are going to get shot up. Very effective right now. Uh, we're probably gonna lose Kazrak here, but oh, their lord ran away. Cowards. Where's their hero? There he is. Oh my gosh, this gate should be down by now. Come on. in here. 
Wow, what is happening here at this gate? Set AI cheats, yeah. I feel like people are going to complain about it a lot, for sure. Well, I don't think it's going to take 10,000 years to get a gate down. But it did. And now our knights are going to... Well, those knights going to kill all of our dogs. It's okay. Wow. Campaign just stifled right here, really. Um, okay. <laughs> we just have to replay this one. Yeah, we can't take out the mortar. Yeah, I'm just going to redo this. This is a disaster. Oh wait, oh I was supposed to end battle, oh well, oh, go back to menu, oh I forgot, oh well. Okay, so what did we learn? Gates are very strong, they take forever to break down, um, yeah, now I know. Hmm. We lost our best score unit entirely. Wow. Huh. Okay. Sieges. Pretty hard. We don't have magic. What do you know? A fort would be no, no easier. Um, hope we learned our lesson. Not really. Let's just pick on non, non, uh, non-walled settlements right now until we can get some more minotaurs or something, or I don't know, more durable. I think people are going to complain about the cheats too, but some people are going to like it. I feel like some people are going to, I mean, people have been complaining about how, um, you know, boring the game is. It's not challenging enough. Le Legendary is not hard enough. Um, and so this is going to give those people hopefully some options to, you know, Ultimate Crisis isn't involved enough or not hard enough to same Z. This is going to hopefully create more options. But yeah, they're, they're going to be a lot of people that complain about it too. Oh, Shankers. Nice. Extra experience. Okay. Do we have enough pop points? We do, but we don't have the money right now. Let's go pick on Einhardt. Fight this. 
Oof, we are beat up. Let's flatten it's gonna be annoying, but we can shoot them up. Have a good dinner. Mildly. Enjoy. Okay. We get our hounds on the archers. Shadows they came. All right, but you guys, whoops, on, shit. Catrack's pretty beat up. Let's keep him out of this battle for the most part. Crap, you're not Vanguard. Our haggard little ward. Smash, baby. Oh, here they come. Oh, yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Spears. down. Oh god. The crazy naked dudes are charging at us. They're nuts. Go we smash that guy. Alright. Kaiser, get out of there. Broke them over here pretty well. Shit, keep falling back.
Hang in there, boys. There we go. Hang in there. That gorb will do it. These guys are shattered. Gorble. Oh god, Kazra, get out of there. Guys in there. Yeah, we got him out of there. The one eye. He wandered out. I just shoot those guys. Just ignore them. Just ignore them. Look at the kills on our chariots. Oof. Riding dirty. So battles, yeah, they're slowed down a little bit, but not by that much. Flagellant's breakable still. They're nuts. Then the are like, damn, these guys are brave. I don't want to fight them though. I'll fight these guys. Who shoot these guys? Him down. Whew. Close victory, I'll take it. Not too bad. <laughs> Those flashlights, 184, man, they were smacking. Yeah, Chariot did great work. I think ideally in our late game we'll have a couple chariots. Stone. Let's put one here. Actually, no, we're going to put one at Altdorf. Because that does have special properties. Um, so let's just do this. Cool. We completed a challenge. Barbarian. The Flying Spy. Altdorf. So yeah, if we put a stone down at Altdorf, it'll have unique global uh, effects. Just gonna point to that. Okay. Yeah, we need to heal up. Oh my gosh, we're in bad shape. Um, I think we just need to repair this so we can actually get it pumped up. Oh, beast, she'll rage. She's even after that fight and having. Got an extra beastial rage from the post battle option. Huh. We'll be okay after this turn, though. Okay, so it's it's low because as at the beginning of this turn it was already low, so it's not going back up to a, a decent territory. But that's okay. So I think we'll head for. Except for Karaberg. kind of prying on the places that don't have walls at the moment. Because we're much better out in the field.
Why is the ship damaged? Uh, cause we, we lost a battle. We, uh, I, I didn't win the battle of Marienburg. So it just damaged all of his buildings. I think that's why. I'm losing a battle. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Wanna make a shake real quick, guys, off at the side? Still here. Izzy's asleep on my bed. She woke me up at like five this morning, just wanting attention. It's like, oh my god. Izzy. She's literally a Tamagotchi. Okay, so yeah, now that we have the main building repaired, we can go up to tier two. The Hag Tree Cops. Cops. Weird word. Alright, let's. Yeah, it's it over there. Old Dwarf is just gonna be too much for us at this point. Boba, how's it going, Boba? Campaign's going well, dude. <laughs> Your new profile picture. Oh my god. Pepe. Right, let's get. Uh, we need to go scouting. We need to keep an eye out for Tani's stash. So let's go scouting for it. Alright, good. Cool. So we're just kind of putzing about, staying invisible, replenishing. Um, let's do this. I don't confuse you guys down. Replace you with shields. Yeah, we want shields. Ideally. Yeah, in fact, let's do... Let's do this too. Alright, moving on. Should build a rich Carabrig next turn. I imagine. Rookie de. Rookie de. Oh, there's Franz, right where we last were. Interesting. How's it going, Carl? I haven't seen you for a few days. Looks like he's got a 20 stack, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, we've been revealed. Green surplus, alright. Yeah, so he's already got some of his renowned units. Ugh, Marcel, yeah, these guys are unbreakable, super annoying. 110 armor, oh my gosh, these guys are heavy metal. Silver shield, Oof. This guy's gonna be quite tanky. Okay, well, let's hit it. Actually, let's scout a little first. Okay, how far can Carl move? Oh, Jesus, he can move really far. He can actually hit Karaburg. Uh, well, if we just raise it and then move away, should be fine. Let's go ahead and circle it. Pop our Ruggy Doo in there. Thank you. Pop you in there. Go. Alright, yeah, it should be fine. It's a pretty big garrison, actually. I uh, know it's not. I take that back. Ten units. Um, should be fine. Yeah, a lot of trees. Okay, we'll fight this out, though, to minimize casualties, of course. Hide in the trees. 
The Houndmaster. Yeah, I'm excited for this legendary hound. It's gonna be pretty cool. I remember using him in game two, somewhat. But I, uh, I don't remember which stance I preferred. It's been so long, but I, yeah, I do recall the stances now. So it'll be fun to kind of play around with, um, with those, depending on what we need him to act as in that particular battle. Which is kind of cool. Oh, this map. I like this map. This is a cool map. I like this hill. I like protecting this tree line here. It's a fun, I don't know, we just had some really epic siege, not siege battles, but just uh, field battles here protecting this hill. Quite epic. All right, and we'll do it once again. So, Beastmen, we have Woodsmen. We can fight in the forest. We have Strider with a lot of our units. Um, we could just bring him up into the forest here. Although we're probably better off just getting another face early. We have Vanguard. So we could play back here in the forest and bring them into, the, into Fangorn and eat them up, but we're just going to run at them. We have Vanguard just getting their face. We could literally just stand right in front of their face. Although it might be a little dangerous with the Kaz rack. If he gets focus fired, he's going to get nailed. So let's keep him out here for now. I'll feel better when he's on his chariot riding dirty. Yeah, that'll be better. Alright, Caster can hang out over here with you. Start casting Spirit Legion on their Lord. Do they have an actual Lord? I think they do. Yeah, they do. Alright, we'll get you as close as you can be. You don't have Vanguard, unfortunately, but that's okay. Whoops, you're going to be a three. You are four. We'll have you over here. It's cool that he does have Vanguard, though. The Chariot. Hounds will be on the right flank. Keep them back over here. They can run down through this little pathway here. Actually, they're probably better off getting around further to the right around this way to get on top of the cookie jar. I want them on top of that mortar really quickly. Hang out back here. Yeah. Alright, and then let's kind of space out these type of units here. Uh, actually, you guys are really beat up. I'll keep you in the back. They can be on the flanks, actually, a little bit. Here, you guys can all be on this flank over here. Um, you guys are the healthy ones. Healthy-ish. Healthy. Ish. healthy. <laughs> huh. Something like that, I guess. Ungor can take some of the shots, hopefully. Alrighty, let's do it. Shoot him up, little darling, shoot him up. Oh, more to the face, ouch. Or so fast, he put foot, I love that about the beastmen, they just, they run. These guys are natural sprinters. Say the dwarves are, but oh no. Imagine beastmen are, pro oh, beastmen are probably good long distance running too. They're just natural athletes. Stinky as hell, but natural athletes. Cook jar. See archers lasting for a while over here, longer than they would normally in vanilla, but they get taken out the, all the same. There we go. Astra Goth and his Torx want to work with you, yeah. <laughs> They are damn good, too. Rolling dirty. Piggies. Look at this best of course guy's loving life. Oh.
just a outright slaughter. The Ungor. Dude, they must have abs. I thought they had pot bellies. Put an ab to me. Our shaman's got regen and doesn't even care. He's running him down all the same. This guy. He just gets right in there. Close, really. I don't know about that. Yeah, that mortar still killed quite a few, for sure. Yeah. Which is fine. We could have focused fire that down probably with all of our archers. Probably what we should have done prevent some of those casualties. Just take all five raiders and focus fire the crew. It's okay. Some mortar rounds in the battle adds a little flavor to the cinematic experience. All right, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, France is right here. Uh, it's kind of an issue. Let's move up this way. Hopefully, we'll be able to see us here. Because he can reach us. If he does discover us and decides to attack, we should be able to fall away. I just don't want to fight him right now. We're just too fragile. Too fragile. It's like Soul Blight. Too dang fragile. Alright, we could fuse a unit down. Let's do that. We could spend some dread to Yeah. Seems cheaper than usual. That's that's not a bad price. We're tier two now. Huh. That didn't increase our local recruitment capacity though, which is interesting. Maybe it only increases global. Plus two. Already was plus two. Oh, it goes up to three at tier three. Got it. Okay, so it's two at tiers one and two, and then goes up to tier th uh, three capacity at three, four. At four. Four, no, still three. And up, uh, tier five goes up to four. Got it, got it, got it. Right. Well, I see. All right, well, let's fuse. Let's get rid of you guys. Actually, I want to. I want. I want shields. I at least want shields. Yeah. Yeah, if we're gonna run with crappy, stinky Ungor, we at least want shields on them. <clears throat> but the trade-off is that the shield ones are capped, so we have to spend dread to, to increase them. Eh, it's probably worth it. Here's your random beastman fact. Most are born from a beastman and beast woman. Oh, okay, well, that's good. It's kind of cute. But beastmen born of normal human parents are seen as something special and given privileges in the tribe. Oh, they're kind of like... Yeah, this. Yeah, I see. So ones that are just uh, a random occurrence from a normal human couple, those ones are special. Gotcha. They were chosen by the gods to be born of normal, normal parents. I see. That's that's cool though. I mean, a male beastman and a female beastman can have beastman babies together. It's kind of a cute in a way, in a horrific yet cute way. All right, Carl did not see us. Good, that's right, Carl. Get out of here. I love that stance. It's just, it's just allows you to be so, so sneaky. It feels good because usually, you know, when you're not playing as beastmen, you have beastmen armies around you that are going in and out of being able to be seen, and you're like, where the hell is this guy? 
keeps going into ambush stance or in camp hidden in camp stance. I can't see the damn army. But you know they're there. And you're like, oh. It's because you're like constant anxiety worrying about the beastmen and where they are. But this time, where are the beastmen? This guy, the haggard one. All right, let's go up to Wiseman. We need to scout a bit, though, because I don't know where Toddy is. It's exactly what the wiki says, that those that are born of normal human parents are blessed by the Chaos Gods. Yeah, yeah, it kind of seems that. Knowing that's the case, it seems like that would be seen that way, yeah. Like, oh, the chosen, chosen beastmen. Big Bug Mania, hey there, I don't recognize you. Good to see you. For the first time in my chat, hello. Uh, there's an ancillary for Beastman called Doe that helps. Oh, right, the Doe. Yeah, 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 you're right. Let's see if we can make that, although it's probably going to be money. I don't have a lot. Yeah, the Doe. Where is that Doe? A deer, a female deer. Where? Oh, it's not craftable. Oh, it's just something you get. Right, 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 right. Sorry. Um, I think we may have one. Let's see. Oh, representing a female beastman in the army. Oh, I see. I see. I should have finished reading what you were saying. I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yes, you're right. I remember seeing a doe. Right. That's good. Okay, so a doe. A female beastman in the army. Okay. She's just like the, you know, the communal breeding doe. Run, run while you can. This is a madhouse. A madhouse. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Don't tell them yet. All right, let's uh, let's bring you up here. Wait, let's scout a little bit more with you. Toddy's close. I can smell him. It's not so much of a smell. It's more of a, I can sense the stash. It's near. Okay. I thought I saw Izzy out of the corner of my eye. Um, okay, so we have that. Extra weapon strength is a good thing. Same order. Ten turns, alright. Uh, pretty decent. Doesn't cost 10G, which I guess is a good thing, so let's go ahead and do that. It's our only option. So we could use this time to just keep kind of... Let's keep replacing our... Uh, Non-shielded on Gore, since we have... It's cheap to increase the capacity for. Let's just let's get him. And this is our this should be our best army. So let's spoil ourselves and get the shield of Dunko. So one thing that you can note in SFO that I do like is that a lot of the basic units have slight changes to them. So for instance. The Ungor herd. Normally it's just like a the basic shielded, right, one handed axe. It's gonna be bare bones. But in SFO, they're actually given anti infantry. So the spears, yes, normally have anti large, and they still have anti large, the spears. But now anti infantry is given to the other variety of non spear units typically. So in this case, like the one handed weapon and shield, you have anti infantry. Which makes them a little more I think a little more useful. A little more applicable. So it gives them more. I mean, before it's like, oh, why would I want to get these at all? It's just go with spears. But now, if you're going to be fighting a lot of infantry, you'd want this over at the spear unit, right? So I like that. You're given two good options depending on what you're needing. So in fact, we'll grab another one of you. So now I want to split some anti infantry, some anti large. So that's another thing SFO changes that I like. You can, you can find more use out of, or more application out of units that you may have not used before previously. Alright. Oh, wait, I still need a slot for... Wait. 
We need room for a correct dugu. Um. Whoops, hold on. Crap. Oh, bad. Get rid of you guys. I don't want to rely too much on archers with his army. With our other lords that aren't legendary lords, yeah, we'll probably run a lot of archers or more raiders, but I want to kind of stay light on that. We strike soon, is he? Yes, yes, yeah. Nice big bug. Yeah, I love Beastmen as well. They're my favorite faction. Um, back since game one. Them and Warriors of Chaos. I've liked them about equally. So it's been... It, it's been really, really nice seeing both of them get buffed over the years. More recently, especially with game three and ending of game two with Torox's DLC. It was, yeah, it was like, that was a special time. It was like, yes, finally the Beastmen are relevant. Yes, finally Warriors of Chaos are fucking awesome. Alright. I just like how both, like, haggard and just dumb, yet also badass and just uh, terrifying the Beastmen can be. <laughs> like, you know? It just... It's a, it's a fun juxtaposition that I enjoy. That's kind of how I feel about chaos in general in the Warhammer world. It's just they're just a combination of terrifying and haggard. I appreciate both sides. It's like the yin yang. You need the haggard, you need the terrifying. Alright, let's circle this place. And we'll encircle it. Pop you guys in. I really wish base game Beastmen got the Cornetars. Yeah, for sure. I wish base game Beastmen had representation of um, all the four the four flavors, like Chaos does. Um, yeah, maybe not necessarily with all their units, but I think with the with Minotaurs and Bestigors, I think they in in vanilla should have the four varieties, God specific varieties. I think that'd be a nice addition to the Beastmen that they need. It'll help lift them up to the same level as the Warriors of Chaos, kind of, in that sense. While still being, you know, more haggard than them. As they should be. They're beastmen. Let's not forget who they are. They're cool. What is this? Uh, oh, we gotta raise the black pit? Alright, we can do that. Oh, it's been sacked just recently, actually. Okay. Well, let's be opportunistic. Um, we could auto this. Let's see. Um, let's fight it. Let's fight it. Plus, these smaller battles are helping me get a feel for SFO, because it does it does feel a bit different. It takes a little getting used to. This this will help me prep for the big battles where I'm commanding essentially two you know, two stacks, forty units, that kind of thing. All right, so this battle, let's hang over on this far flank on the right side and utilize the forest and kind of showcase. Uh, the effects of being able to run through a forest and then down the hill and kind of sideswipe an army. This will be kind of fun. They won't, won't see it coming. But we will take, let's see, um, let's keep some of our mobility out here, though. Maybe our chariots could be out here? Yeah, I want, let's, yeah, let's keep our chariots out here. We'll keep the hounds on this far flank. All right, Hounds will be over here, vanguarded. Pretty much ready to run straight down the hill once we get our other units in position, which we'll position here in a second. Uh, oh yeah, so you got which caster I can do over here as well. And we'll keep the Minotaurs back here in the trees too. We'll have them move up and then down, so we'll have them catch up to the rest of our units along with our Bulgore. Bulgore. 
cool. Now we have a nice front line of spears. And I mix up the types, stagger them, space them. Right, the Vanguard too, I keep forgetting that. You guys are pretty beat up though, I'll keep you in the back. Yeah. Three archers is a good middle ground, I feel. Hey, slightly obnoxious Kiwi, how's it going? I have noticed you. How are you? I'm Tom. Hello. I, uh, yeah, I see your, your promotions and the other discords. I the meaning to say hi. Hello. Okay. Yeah, so this is an overhaul that's been around since game one. It used to be called, uh, not Grimhammer, it was just SFO. And then sometime in game two, it was, uh, it was made into Grimhammer SFO, but they kept, they kept that, like, subtitle. I don't know, maybe that's when Ventress took over? I can't, I can't remember. I heard Ventress, did Ventress actually leave officially? I, I was, there was talk of that, I think he had. I'm not, but I haven't looked up exactly what happened. Alaska Legend. I think he keeps up to date with what Ventress is up to. I, I think so. I don't think my word for it. Hey, Bovine. Hey, Hamster. How's it going, man? Ooh, Kiwi says, ooh, I've noticed... I've also noticed you. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Mike. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mike. How's it going? <laughs> I like your thumbnails, too. I may have to pick your brain at some point about thumbnails and stuff, because... Um, I'm terrible at artwork, um, digital artwork. I don't know what I'm doing at all. So I need to pick out a program, probably Photoshop or something, that I can start making better thumbnails. And yours are good, so I'm going to talk to you later. And Mikhail's, hey, it's Mercy. How's it going, guys? Thank you, Mercy. Spoil me. All right, so let's just do this. Have them catch up with the gang. Oh yeah, look at these BV boys. All right, so the bulk of our horde lies wait in the forest ridge. Let's actually pivot them around a little bit. Let's get them ready. Let's grab everybody and just kind of go. Bloop. Shimmy up this way. Okay, but I just finished, so it's time. It's bedtime. Oh, yeah, that's probably late for you, huh? Have me on Discord. We can chat later. Have a good stream. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. I'll hit you up on Discord, dude. Thanks for stopping by. here. So the purpose of the cherry on the left flank here is to confuse their formation and, and discombobulate it and have it face different directions at once while I slam into their rear. <laughs> you guys are like, what? Are you guys ready? It's going to be a glorious hacker charge. Oh, it's 8.30 a.m. Yeah, it's going to say it's you're like six hours behind me? God. You, okay, you must work nights then. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye. Alright, let's just go in there. Let's go! Go! Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, good. They're shooting mortars at my... Hell yeah, okay. Well, I learned something new now. SFO, they'll shoot mortars at your chariots. Hell yeah. Cool. Well, we could juke out the ammo of the mortars, but whatever. They're not going to know what hit them. Let's 
See what I mean? They just they have no idea what they're doing. And while Kazzy's just getting in there. Time to slam dunk, baby. Oh, fuck. Get on the archers. Shock indeed. Still those spears. Ah! Ah! And just mass terror out. Not terror out, but you know what I mean. Kind of. Not literally. I like Soul Blight too. It stacks well with the, the playstyle of the Beast, I and mean, it just it allows your hit, your your shock, shock attacks, to be even more devastating. If you time it with a uh, you know, full-on charge like that, it just helps make the enemy route even easier. Slam them down, shoot them up. So yeah, Beastmen. They hit hard. Nice. Shoot him up. Cool, that's probably good enough. Wait, where's their lord? Oh. Is he in here? Oh, there he is. Get him. Oh, oh, wrong button. There we go. Where is he? Did we get him? I think we got him. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. The speedy beastmen units, so they're mobile stuff, um, can just do so much work against low tier troops like the state troops. That holds true for most of the factions, but especially true with the beastmen. Um, this is Wiseman. I choose that one because I, I just don't want to like get shot off in a random direction somewhere. At least that way I don't move that far away from where I've raised. You know? I don't like the randomness of that mechanic. It's being sent off somewhere that you don't want to be. We're backtracking. Wood there, not that it right, it doesn't matter. We're beastmen, okay. Yeah, it's, it's fun as beastmen because you don't really have a home, you're just kind of like, Where do I want to go terrorize next? It embodies how chaos used to play in game one, where you were purely a horde faction. Um, we're not anymore, we can put on our stones, but you don't need to, you should, you should but. Like, we don't have a stone right now, so we're missing out on some stuff for sure, but it's not needed. We can run around, terrorize, and act independently. 
Um, yeah, let's capitalize on the fact that the Black Pit has been sacked recently and the garrison's very bashed up. So let's go up there and finish the job. That'd be a good spot to put a stone down, too, because from there, although we've taken away some of the potential from these two places from that ritual, if we were to put it there, the Black Pit. But that's okay. There's still enough here to make it worthwhile, I think. Six plus six, twelve plus another four. Okay, so we're looking at sixteen. Um, yeah, it's enough for ritual. But it'll, it'll be a tiny ritual, but we can go ahead and do it. I mean, Beastman and Warriors Chaos kind of play the same. Oh, they do, for sure, for sure. They're very similar. Still, yeah. Yeah, that, that is true. But they, um, Beastmen are more reminiscent of how Warriors of Chaos used to be, um, even more so in game one. Where they were, they were both just entirely horde factions roaming around, and the beastmen are still, they're they're more similar to that, the chaos is now. Um, yep, yeah, I think that's it. Do we want to recruit anything? Um, what we could do is get rid of. Well, you guys have a unit of experience or a rank of experience. We might get rid of you. It's tempting. I could just get rid of them. So another thing to note, guys, SFO changes, as I was saying earlier, the the size, the model count of particular units. So fodder units that um, or chaff units, crap units, however you want to consider them, like a unit of skeletons, or in our case, ungor herd, um, if they were normally, say, about 100, they're about double. In this case, yeah, we went from normally about 120 units up to about 200, so they've gone up about 80% um, in model count. Uh, also, more elite units or smaller unit counts, so like um, Minotaurs, which I think in vanilla are 16 Minotaurs, uh, are now 12, so there's less of them. So more elite units are reduced in model count, more expendable fodder type units are increased in model count. There's just more extremes. Which I like. It makes it feel more like the tabletop. Alright. Moving on. Uh. Hey, CP. How's it going, man? It is going good, dude. Has anyone ever heard of the show Babylon Berlin? I was, I was for a second there. I thought you were going to say Babylon Five, and I was going to say, uh, yes, I have, because I've been watching it the past couple few months. Uh, but Babylon Berlin, no, I have not heard of that. I'm thinking of starting that, but I want to know if anyone has heard. Of it. I've never even heard of it. Is it a, is it a German show? Let's grab the movement range one. If I know I'm going to be doing a lot of fighting, I go with the replenishment one, but otherwise I go with the movement range one, usually. This can be good too, yeah, but we're not recruiting any of these really at the moment. Later on, if we get a best or one that increases dread cost or decreases dread cost for increasing best of war unit count, then I'll go with this one for sure if I'm ready to pump a bunch of dread into it. Otherwise, nah. Grab that. Okay, let's do a little scouting. We need to keep an eye out for Toddy. Oh, it's that. It's not Toddy. So the garrison's healed back up a little bit, but not much. It's still in very bad shape. They have recruited a lord here as well. Is that a new... Is that a new animation down here? I don't recognize this guy. Might be a new artwork, SFO. I don't recognize that beard. Or that visor. Yeah, it looks new. Huh, okay. SFO, baby. Um, we're in pretty good shape. Basically full strength, just about. Can I reach the black pit? I don't even know if I can reach it. I don't think I can. Crap. Yeah, I can't quite reach it. No. Alright, well, let's move up. Um, yeah. Stay hidden. 
move up into the forest to your 100% chance. That's what I like, baby. Alright, and let's pop you back in the army. Just in case we have someone like Toddy run into us. I want to be, want to be ready to lay the smack down. Mr. Gorble, uh, we could spend some money on the new horde armies are raised with horde encampment building at level two. I think it's more important to get this one, getting the um, the hard stone tier when you erect giggity them. I found that to be more impactful. Uh, still don't have enough money to put in, into any items, but it's okay, we'll get there. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. Cool. So when we put a stone here, it'll be at tier two. Yeah. Cool, all right, let's move on. Why, yes, it is a German show. <laughs> nice. Uh, a period detective show. Oh, it's got stellar reviews. Interesting, interesting. I'll have to look into it. My sister is... Um, she likes her shows. She has most of the show services, HBO and all that stuff. So she's maybe heard of it. I'll ask her. All right, this guy did not recruit any units. The garrison healed up a little bit, but not really. It must be green territory, or uh, red territory to them, because that garrison's not healing. Which is fine by me. Die! Good, I'll go ahead and auto this. Normally I would fight it, but they are so beat up, let's just auto it. Cool, yeah, barely any damage. And let's put a hurts down, down, baby. Cool, okay, so that was worth six ruination points. All right, we need six pop points. Ugh, it's a ways away. What does this do? Income come from raiding. Yeah, that would be beneficial, wouldn't it? Where's the growth one? This one here. 4,000. Let's just keep saving our money. I watched Babylon with Brad Pitt last night. It was kind of a Hollywood masturbation flick, to be honest. <laughs> what? Is it just called Babylon? I haven't heard of that either. I'm so out of the loop with movies and whatnot. But if you like Brad Pitt, it's hit or miss. I feel like Brad Pitt's hit or miss. It's not always Brad's fault. I mean, just could be a shit story. I don't know. Typically, I like Brad Pitt. Okay, oh, right, so this is, um, we need to choose these because, d depending on what type of stone we want it to be, it'll unlock the special flavor of Bestigore, right? So, with our initial one, I eventually want all four. We need to pick one to begin with. I think... Portland's quite good. Increased horde recruit capacity, extra replenishment rate, uh, but it's only armies in own province. It's not faction wide. I'm looking for faction wide stuff. Although this does uh, increase research rate, right? Challenge of the Dark Gods completion rate plus eight percent. Okay. Increased power reserve change plus thirty percent would increase all blood round regions. The line of sight that this gives is really nice too, and the dread gain from battles, own armies faction wise, so that's huge. That's huge. So the Zinch one's clearly very good. Um, 
income from raising settlements plus 8% owned armage faction wide. Another faction wide bonus. Small chance of play breaking out all blood grounds regions. So yeah, both these giving global bonus. This one too, the corn one with the research rate. Which I think would be Zeech, but it's uh I don't know. This is Ingram from post battle loot plus four percent faction wide. Hmm. They all seem good. Let's go with the corn one to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with the corn one to begin with. Uh, Zinch one is so damn good with the uh, the line of sight or visibility gain over all, all blood grounds regions. It's so good. That might be our next one. Remember that being quite helpful for this playthroughs. It's about the change from silent to audio films. Oh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, that must have been a, uh, a very strange time period in entertainment technology. Probably something similar from black and white to colored, but even more, even more of a change. Whoa, hold on here. Oh my god, they came out to fight us? Oh no. Uh. Oh boy. Two Way Watchers. Oh god. Three. Oh my god. Um. Ugh. I didn't see them up there. Oh, I always do the dread buildings first. Yeah, those are really good. I probably probably should do that first too. Yeah, the passive dread increase, so good. Oh man, this is not good. I think we can still win this, but it's gonna be tough. Oh, we need to shut down these way watchers really quickly. All right, we'll find it. Let me use the bathroom real quick, guys. Be right back. So tight. banana real quick. Oh my god, this is going to be really hard. We're not going to be able to get on their archers. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's true Grimnir. Oh crap. <laughs> oh my god. This could be a disaster. Probably will be. I'm gonna shut my window. The 
sun's coming out. <clears throat> Not hard, impossible. Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna lose this. I should probably. Uh, oh crap! Well, I can't reload this legendary. We can check the corners of the map to see if there's any vanguard space. I don't think there is on this one, though. I'm pretty sure we're screwed. It's okay. It happens. Yeah, we're screwed. Although, enemy comes in over here. Yeah, there's no area anywhere for Vanguard. Damn it. Yeah, these archers are just going to chew us up. Although... That is a lot of dryads. Hmm. Hmm. Even Legend would send this one back to you. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I think so too. Pretty sure. Yeah, we don't have magic here. Yeah, if we had a bunch of magic, maybe. But even then, probably not. The Waywatcher is just gonna, like, three shot us. Ugh, let's just, I don't even want, I don't even want to feed it. We're just gonna, yeah, it's okay. We'll rebuild. Ugh, I should have scouted out. I didn't think these guys would come out of their hole even and attack us. I didn't see where their 20 stack was. It was sloppy. Yeah, we're screwed. Oh, never mind. We, we died. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then. I command here, Louis Corlan. Never said I was good. Beastman, Wood Elf maps and bigger maps. Yeah, the show point maps are kind of frustrating. A faction like the Beastmen, just you're like, oh, frontal assault. Where I can't flank? Hmm. With the Beastmen, you have to be flanking. You have to be hitting from the sides, hitting weak spots. Yeah. Alright, so we should probably take out the wood, the beastmen first. Or not the beastmen, the wood elves, I'm sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> not make the mistake, I left them alive. Alright. Yeah, you. You're the little punk that attacked us just now. I'm gonna get some vengeance. That's right. Probably stay in fight, I imagine. 
We're gonna be ambushed in Puric Hellfight. Oh, Shut down these way watchers manually. Will be very gratifying. Vengeance for what you just did to me. I should have an antler just strapped to your cheeks. Holy crap. That would feel weird. Okay, oh, there they are. So we know the way watches based on the direction they're facing. You're going to be right about here. Too many hounds, but it's okay. Their lord's gonna be over here. Keep our bulls away from the spears. I'll have you guys fight those spears. Well, we just got caught up with several minutes lagged. Oh, yeah. That can happen. Alright, good enough. Stupid beast pet, or stupid what else? <laughs> stupid. Yeah, wood also. A little bit more intelligent. Oh, so satisfying. Just watching Way Watcher die. Oh, yeah. You can't shoot there. Yeah, that's right. Get one eyed. Feel what else? How does it feel? Guys, we're not song from the 90s. You treat me like you do. Cool. Heroic, baby. Easiest rock ever. All right, yeah, you know, it's a good battle when the Way Watchers only have two and six kills. Ooh, a filth mace, nice. Magical attacks. Imbues corroded armor. That's dope. So again, a, a change to an item that isn't vanilla. That's a folk giving it a slightly different effects. Cool. Oh, it can spread. Spread range 30 meters. Will spread to enemies within the spread range meters of affecting the effect of the five units. Corroded armor. Damn. That's actually well, really damn good. Reduces armor by 30, which I mean, not a game changer necessarily, but it's quite good. It gives them terror and magic attacks. Yeah, very good. Lowered beast jewelry. I don't know if I want that. At the same time, that is 1200. Okay, who needs? Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Eight units plus another five. Hmm. It'd be a pretty close battle in terms of units involved. Three archers. Not sure what's here. I'm 
worried about encamping for a turn and recruiting because they'll be able to out recruit me if they wanted to. They could easily out recruit me, which would be putting them at more of an advantage. So maybe I should attack now. Oh wait, no, I can't. I'm on the boom range anyways. All right. Well, knowing that then, then let's just grab some more units. Let's grab some arc or uh, hounds to run down archers. Cool. Probably already off to a better start than the last run. Mm. Hopefully they don't recruit many units, but I have a feeling they're going to. Actually, no, they didn't. Thank you. Cool. Actually, they didn't recruit at all. Nice. Well, we got quite lucky then. So I think we have the tools now to go in there and beat them. Oh, this guy has damaged as well. Nice. So are the sisters of the thorn. All right. So yeah, if we can shut down the archers, we should be fine. Yep. Let's do it. Ah, yes, this map, the classic. It'd be nice if we can draw the enemy out to the middle of the field, away from that ridged area. I said, bring them down from these slopes here, down into this area, so I can get on their flanks easier. When they're up in here and over here, they force bottlenecks. And we don't want to be fighting in bottlenecks. We want to be hitting the enemy from multiple sides. Also, I can't really do much about enemies upon this ridge shooting at us, so... I need them to come down here and play with us. Come down here! Alright. These cool little forts, though. How cool, look at this little grove. It's pretty cool. Alright, little waystones. Alright, so let's get ready to spring out on the flanks. Now let's um let's stay visible with some of our units. Let's keep the majority of our stuff here. Not the majority, but the, the visible portions of it will keep you... Actually, I know the chariot can hide, right? Let's get the chariot back here. I think this was a good spot. Yeah. It, I want on that side. The hounds, I want on this side. Hot take. Beastmen work better on wooden maps than wood olds. They probably... Yeah, I, I think they, they do too. Because the beastmen don't need to rely on range DPS, which doesn't do well in forests for melee. Melee, you know, your shots don't get blocked by trees. Arrows do. So let's keep... Your spear should be on the flanks, but it doesn't really matter. So I want to pull them down from these hills down here. Let's, let's fight down here. Okay. Guessing 
good here, didn't okay. You guys need to go back there and hide a little bit. Alright, so let's bring down Kazrak. Hounds need to be ready to spring on archer units like those guys. I'm not gonna be able to see the way watchers right because they're the clout hidden. <sighs> Probably the way watchers. As soon as you figure out where they are, they've already shooting a volley at you, and you're taking like half your health. Up here. As it right now, it's a pretty small target, which is good. Let's go through the trees. They have two Weight Watcher units. Alright, fuck it, let's just go in there. Oh, we'll get on top of this Glade Guard, actually, yeah. Shadows we can. Our archers up here. That knows a play guard, okay. She's good on them. There we go. Those war dancers are doing a lot of damage. More play guard. Cast wreck. Stay away from those spears. God, they have a lot of spears. I don't like the spears. Oh, there they are. Ah. Yeah, their stats definitely seem buffed. SFO. 
How's the SFO experience going? Uh, it's kicking my butt. I already had to restart once. It is hard. Good, I got the way washers here though at least. Come on. I may have to restart again. It's a lot harder than vanilla. Yeah, I uh, probably should lower the difficulty. Legendary is kicking my ass. Which is a bit embarrassing. Can't kill these war dancers. Oh my god, these war dancers are just buzz saws. Yeah, we're dead. There's no way I can beat these guys. Holy cow. Alright, well, third time's the charm. <laughs> yeah. I should probably turn out of difficulty. This is insane. Yeah, I'm gonna make some more coffee, guys. I'll be right back. I'll, uh, I'll restart it, but we're gonna turn out of difficulty.
Okay. Sorry about that. Where's my water? So yeah, one sec. I'll be in there in a second. Um, let's turn that the difficulty back down to. Um, well, yeah, I don't want this to take forever. So let's turn the difficulty down to normal, normal. Um, back down to how I used to play about nine months ago. I was used to play on normal, normal. Or not normal, normal, I'm sorry. Hard, hard. Hard campaign, hard battle. Let's just restart. Um, and then gauge how SFO feels at that difficulty. I feel like hard, hard SFO is going to be more like very hard vanilla. That's my guess. I was just not killing those those wood elves that are just dunking on me. I feel like the AI might have a bit bit more cheats on legendary and SFO. Look at Hammerstorm. Unleash the Hammerstorm, baby. Yeah. That's a pretty cool character. Alright. Third time's the charm. The Beastman. Kazi, settings, hard, hard, AI plus 15, plus 15, 20, what's very hard? Wow, another 15% on top of that, damn, okay, normal, no AI bonuses, okay, yeah, god, imagine, like, yeah, the AI is getting plus 30% Reload time reduction, or plus forty percent. All those wood elves, those way watchers, were getting plus forty percent reload, reload time reduction. That's insane. That's insane. All right, we'll try hard. Armor is king in SFO. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I noticed the AI um, AI's decision making seemed a lot better in that that siege I did at the beginning of this episode. And I was sieging that Empire fort. I was like, wait a minute, the AI's. Uh, like actually putting placing their units in very very effective locations, preventing me from hitting the areas that I wanted to. Um, they were just acting differently in a much more strategic way. So yeah. Oh my god, yeah, very hard. I was just kicking my ass. Those, those wood elves were just supercharged. Oh my gosh. Okay, so AI minus ten percent all costs. Plus growth. Okay. AI is paying a little less. How much is legendary versus hard? AI was everything costs 20% less. 2% research rate. 50% research rate. Wow, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's go back to hard. We'll try this. Hard battle difficulty, hard campaign. See how that goes. Uh, yeah, let's do this. <clears throat> Yeah, that was crazy. I didn't realize their um, their buffs were as significant as that. Crazy. Wheel watchers shooting forty percent faster. It's just gonna melt anything they shoot at. Armor's king in SFO. Is armor behave differently, Bobby? Is armor a different? Uh, does it do, does it work differently? Is it like a... Or is it effectively the same thing? I'll put my cursor over the, someone's armor right now and, and read the description myself here in a second. Let's see, let's see what armor is. Kazrak, 100 armor. How resistant a unit is to missile fire and melee attacks. Right, that's going to be the breakdown of what the, uh, the map is, though. Okay. Yeah. 
You will see it if you play against dwarves. Oh god. Probably will at some point. Rotten. Good, nice. Rotten trade again. Bamu. Try it again. All right. So the AI is still going to be getting fairly significant buffs. Not as much though. From very hard, it's a hard battle. The Globin ones. Alright, they got on top of the Way Watchers. Chappity, chap, chap. Full surround. My Kazzy. Guy. Come on. Oh god, the rally. There we go. Come on, Cassie, you can do it. Over the minos. Get there and smash. There they go. That's what we needed. Good. Alrighty. Third time's the charm. I did not realize Legendary is going to be so brutal. SFO. But I should have looked into it. It's okay. We discovered on our own. The sole point of doing this is just learning. I could research these things and know this beforehand, but I want to, want to learn in front of you guys. Part of the experience. Um, take the money.
sent you a link in the Discord. Okay, cool, cool. I'll find reading. I find reading the theme helps me a lot. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that before tomorrow's stream. Can we pick this up again? Not to say we're stopping now, but um, I want to read up about the Beastmen a bit more in SF folks. I clearly, I'm not in over my head, but um, there's certain changes to SFO. Grimhammer 3. Again, this is the, the first time I've played uh, Grimhammer SFO 3. I haven't played it in Game 3 yet, so it's, it's been a year and a half. Things have changed a bit, for sure. Okay, so let's grab... We could stay here for more than one turn, just... Maybe we should do that. Hold on. It'll allow us to get more troops. A bit quicker. Yeah, why not? Why not? Pass for dread per turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We could grab a new lord, too. Oh, never mind. We have to increase our uh, army cap. Right, right, right. And that costs... 1500 here. So yeah, 1500. Okay. Got it. Oh, there's Toddy. Looking on from afar. The dark force of the old world. Bestial roars and guttural screams can be heard. These are not the sounds of mere wild animals, but of something more chaotic. The beastmen come, faster and more numerous than ever. With herds thousands strong and able to move throughout the forest faster than any horse and stealthier than any predator, the beastmen have come to bring... Root of man. I want the little lore bits. Yeah, those are fun. I like them too. Okay. So we'll have a full stack. I bet with the full stack we can take on this place now. Maybe. Uh. Yeah, probably. Assuming this army doesn't recruit anymore. Hoping they don't. Uh, don't do it. Well, a full stack. Yeah, we'll give that battle a shot. Yeah, the AI was for. Protecting its um, ranged units a lot better, I noticed. Certainly. Damn, they did recruit some units. Yeah, I could siege to force them to come out. Yeah, that's a good idea. We could do that. That way we're not... F yeah. One of the reasons why they're so effective is that they have these choke points to fight us in. But bringing them out into the open field would be better for us, certainly. So, let's do that. Yeah, we'll encircle them. Um, we'll sally out, hopefully. If not, we'll just wither them down through attrition. This would actually be a really good spot for a stone, too. Toddy's on the move. He's... What do you got there, Toddy? Oh, right. I always think it's the, the talisman of preservation, but I'm always mistaken. He might hit us from behind. Oh, Daddy, stay away from me. I 
If he does, he'll be fighting with the Wood Elves. Hopefully he goes after the Orcs instead. Oh, now he came in! Arr. God. <sighs> Toddy. I shouldn't have sieged. Who's this? Oleg von Volkman. Cavalry Lord? I can't take this. Uh, well, maybe. I mean, hopefully we can fight them in piecemeal. I'm worried about this guy, though. You're the new Empire Lord. Uh, okay. Von Volk Von. Von Volk Von. <laughs> this is going to be a pain. Von Volk Von Von. coming behind us. It's actually not a bad thing. I can just blitz up there and take them out. Got Spirit Leech for Toddy. Luckily we do. Oh yeah, we have Vanguard, we can start up here. They're the reason why I love the Beastmen so much. Well, one of the reasons. They're glorious in many ways, but the Minotaurs are probably my favorite unit in the game. Uh, All the best of our fighting that hero, or that new lord, I mean, it could probably do decently well against him if I'm spirit leeching him at the same time. Bring in the minos too, need be. Oh, over here. What the shit? AI's bugging out. Good. By taking our whole force that direction, we'll be further away from these two armies when they come in and giving us more time to rearrange ourselves after this little fight here. Let's go. Those knights, oh, those pistol ears. Okay, good. Eat them up. I got something for you. Dude, yeah, look at the best of our We're just chopping these basic swords up. 
Just like firewood. Fuck yeah. Good. This guy's coming in two seconds. Alright, let's get ready. Best score right here to take him on. need to go around here and get ready to take on archers. Best score doing great up here. With help of the Minotaurs, they should be able to get these guys down. Let's bring Kaz up here too. And let's just take these units here. doing here? Okay, we're shocking him down. Yeah. Between the Minotaurs, Kaz, being uh, kind of mixed in with Bestigor, our elite infantry, they, they're doing quite well here. He's not able to cycle charge us. Yeah, he's just going to beat him. Alright, Sisters of the Thorns. Let's go ahead and shoot them up. Guys don't have stock. I'll come back here. Four dancers might need to shoot them up too. Good, get him out of here. Get at it, daddy. Alright, guys, come back here. Should come back over there to the floor side. Our best score bunk here too. Here they come. We're going to go for a big right flank here, kind of wrap around them. More war dancers coming in. They don't see our Ungors here. Shit, they're opening up with some. Hey, we need to go over there now. Those are way watchers, I think. Yeah, those are way watchers. Get in there. Go, 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 go. Yeah, they're in there. They're in the forest. Get inside the forest. Go, 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 go. Get in there. Way watchers, get him. That's the cookie jar right there. So good. We shut down their archers though, but their their spears, their infantry are quite nasty. Alright, mine also need you over here too. Come on. Oh 
God, those war dancers are blenders. Okay, we shattered those units. Circle beat one unit at a time, I guess. God, these war dancers. Nuts. Cool. Finally got him here. Here to start going for these characters. You two keep shooting these guys. Yeah, these guard, these eternal guard got to go. How are we doing, Cash Rack? Nah, let's get you out of there. Two new spears. Yeah, get out of there. Dragging him down in melee. Okay, yeah, just shoot him up. They have good shields, but it's alright. Hit them on the flank. We'll bring them down. Just keep kiting them. You can outrun them. Yep, go. Yeah, those guys are isolated. Finish them off here. We got guys wavering. Good. Excellent. Yep. Look out of ammo. Shit. Good. Okay. Keep running them down. Almost out of ammo. Smash into these guys. Oh, don't brace. There we go. Yeah, don't brace. Suckers. Oh, yeah, good damage on the charge for sure. Those guys are wavering. Out of ammo. Look at those guys right, over here. There we go. Cool. Whew. Yeah, they're even they're a turtle guard. Nasty. 50 melee defense, armor. Oh, they took away AP. Right. They don't do AP in SFO, but not dedicated AP. I still think they do fairly good AP, but they're not dedicated AP like they are in vanilla. Nom, 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 nom. Whew. SFO chorfs already? I'm not sure, mildly. That's a good question. I am not sure about that. Yeah, we really had to pick our engagements carefully there. That went better than I expected. I was worried about that one. Chariot, yeah. Thank you, Hamster. Yeah, that that went better than I expected. I I expected to get effed up there. <laughs> to put it simply. Pretty hard. But yeah, our Minos with Kazi and the Bestigor really, you know, I'm proud of our Bestigor there. They, the trio, really took out Boris quite easily. Along with uh, this new lord, who I don't know much about. I need to look into this guy, though. Oleg von von Volkvon. <laughs> von Volkvon. Von von Volkvon. Von von Volkvon. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love it. It's fun to say. Von von Volkvon. It's fun. How did the best scores take such a beating, but with barely any kills? Because uh, they were fighting the heroes. They were fighting for most of the battle. They, they chopped up a unit of swordsmen really easily. They, they took almost no damage, and they killed a unit of swordsmen, um, which was glorious. But then I had them fight Toddy and uh, Von, Von Volkvon. Um, 
the, the two of them. And so, yeah, the Boris and the two lords smashed up our best score pretty good. But they, they held. They're okay. The new lord is a knight's panther lord. Ah, uh, okay, so that's what that um, color scheme is. Is that red? It looks like it's red-black. That's a cool, I love the red-black color scheme because it um, it reminds me of the 30k Dark Angels color scheme, which I, my Dark Angels are painted that way. Like the black and black and red. Some white. Yeah. I love that scheme. So badass. Black, red. Um, let's, I don't want to lower my bestial rage. Let's just take the replenishment. Good, that was a big win for us. That should allow us to establish a little foothold here. We got our first stone down. Get rid of this damned forest. Enemy killed in battle, but got rid of him. Oleg. Nice. Knight's Panther, yeah, cool. He seemed cool. Alright, uh, let's just auto that. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, nice armor of fortune. That's pretty good. That's like a good old armor of fortune. We'll plop down the stone. Cool. Nice. Got rid of the wood elves in this area. Once and for all. Draika is not too far from us, but it's alright. We'll worry about her later. Gargantuan who's. Oh, good. It's back to 10%. You guys notice that? In game two, one and two, this is, had been always 10%, but in game three, it's gotten nerfed down to 5%. But, yeah, so that feels good. And then the replenishment, I think, is probably our best bet there. You get to choose what Knight's Panther he is, and when he gets to a certain level, any buffs calf. Nice, nice, dope. Pretty cool. Well, that'd go well with um, Carl then, because Carl buffs Reich's Guard. So you could put him in an, an army with Carl, I suppose. Buff up a variety of different calf. At the very least, like, I imagine, just the Rex Guard. Um, I enjoyed that playthrough. We did a, a Franz playthrough a few months back, and I focused a lot on Rex Guard. That was a lot of fun. Pretty well. They get pretty beastly. And once you start unlocking the tech for them, Carl's army. All right, so let's go, like, with what Kanuka was saying, and go with the Dread gain from Battles one, so the, the Zinchin one. Unlocking Zangor as a Tier 3. The passive extra Dread gain following Battles really does add up. Yeah, and the, and the sooner we get that, the better. There's lots to... Dread's such an important mechanic or a currency for us. It's almost more important than gold in some ways. Gold... Consume order, or let's go with that one. Weapon strength is going to be really useful to us. Okay. Cool. And our first stone down that was worth four itself. So if we look around, Black Pit is worth six towards our ritual. Middenheim only four. As these places get up in the higher tier and grow, they become worth more typically. So it's, it's why it's, they're not worth very much in the early few turns of the game, first few turns of the game. But even still, if we go around six, uh, we're looking at about 20 or so for the ritual if we just went around a big circle, which I guess we could do. Toddy's wounded at the moment, so it might be a decent time to move on mid. Good. Nabla, Wolfarda. Looks like they're leaving us alone. I say we go after midnight. Toddy's wounded. No, Wiseman's probably outside of the ritual range. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, shit. Okay, it's worth four. Okay. This is a big map, or a big uh, blood ground attached to this stone. It's a lot of territory.
<sighs> Can't quite reach it. I don't want to attack it anyways. The orcs, or the, these green skins here, like us at the moment, they're distraction, at the very least. I'm, I don't need to be friends with them, but no sense being at war with them right now when we have enemies already. Let's go over to Kroon. Well, perhaps we'll discover Festus too. Let's do that. Let's scooch over this way. And we'll go down into that encampment. Love that camp. Should we go with this or should we save up our pop points? I mm. save our pop points. Uh, let's start spending some dread actually on these guys like we did last time. Yeah, let's just do, do that. Do it early. That way, confuse these guys down. Get rid of you, and we can also fuse you guys down. Oh crap! Well, I guess we'll get rid of you. Yeah. to freshen up a little bit. Knights of Skunk, Knights of Hedgehog. That's right. The panther does not feel like an empire animal. It's true. It's odd. The puma. The elusive puma. Okay, so Theodric, are we at war with Nordland? We're not quite yet, but we're on our way to being. So yeah, let's focus on one enemy at a time. I think that was our mistake, at least one of the prior times. Wow, look how much territory Toddy has to begin the game with. Midnight has got a lot of territory. Wow. Well, let's go for their capital. They do have that mortar there, but I think we should be okay. Actually, let's go to Krugenwald. Screw it. Close victory. We'll go ahead and fight this one. Yeah. I like this map. The forest along the edge we can hide in and run down the hill from. Works quite nicely. The sun's coming out. That's more like it. It was kind of cloudy this morning. Okay, so same as before, we'll focus on hiding in the forest, with the exception of our chariot unit over here, we'll put you guys up with us, so up here, basically to cause a distraction. Like the gurgle in his throat, it's a good gurgle, the voice actor did a good gurgle. will be over there. Oh yeah, Minos. Just give the Minos Vanguard already. Okay. What do they ever do to you? Leave the Minos alone. Alright, we'll just kind of position ourselves in a formation that's suitable towards charging. Once we pivot around a little bit. Keep the shields in the center. There, something like that. Vanguard Bestigar 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 is pretty awesome. Okay, let's do it. You guys over there. Now, as we discovered earlier in the episode, the AI is willing to shoot mortar rounds at our Bestigar, uh, uh, our chariots. Let's see if they do that again. It's just time to kind of switch up. Uh, 
like so. Plastic gutter, yeah, plastic gutter. <laughs> plastic gutter. I've been hanging around you UK folk a lot on Discord. Plastic gutter. Charge! Uh oh, shoot! Not the fastest chariot, not the slowest. Pretty haggard. <laughs> Woo! But as you can see, they they can get a lot of kills. Investigator. Oh, you're doing a skink accent. Oh, okay, okay, that makes more sense then. Best car. Yeah, best. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's doing a pretty good job of buffering now. Oops, stay away from spears. Shoot the spears. They're so fun. Uh oh, these guys get hit. These guys are shattered. The best of is chop. Oh, that was so cool. Little Timmy, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a best of war. Kid. Right. No. Oh yeah. It's just so fun to flank with the beastmen. They're so fast. Every unit they have, all their infantry, they're just you're running at over fifty speed. Well, okay, maybe not quite fifty, but you're in the forties. So like you're as fast, if not faster, than an elf. You're just just like Ronnie Coleman, but also a marathon runner. Before he was injured. All right. Loot and raise, baby. All right, cool. Well, let's hop back into our little stance here. Let us your worshippers want to work with you. Oh, they're already in touch with me, don't you worry. They're not. <laughs> they're, they're not. Hmm. Just save our money. That's right. Yeah, I want to save for... Uh, Forty-seven hundred. 
love that their monster units can hide and run through trees and not get the negative debuffs. Yeah, totally agree, dude. Totally, totally agree. Yeah. Um, that's another reason why I love the Minotaurs, yeah. And, as you said, the other monsters as well. They're Jabber Slice, they're Gorgons. They can all just, like, yeah, book it through the forest. Fight in the forest. Yeah, use the forest as cover from ranged attacks, you know? Yeah, they, they really do thrive fighting in the forest. Even more than the Wood Elves, I agree. That statement. They are the real forest faction. So I'm basically a beastman up here in the northwest. I live in the rainforest of the Pacific Northwest. Essentially a beastman. Just grow out a huge beard. Never cut my hair, just turn into this like I'm a beast man. Love that primal lifestyle or whatever it's referred to these days. Alright. Primal. That's right, no, we're saving our money. That's, we're saving it. I keep seeing the hammer and I want to click on something, spend money, but I shouldn't. Speaking of Slanesh, those sex bots that used to play YouTube streams have all but disappeared. That's true, Sippy. Yeah, I haven't seen them for many months now. Yeah, when I first started the channel, they were an issue. They would, um, yeah, they plagued my streams. Especially after Legend would raid me. It was just like, the bots would follow Legend, you know? Um... I remember, after, especially it was like after the first legend raid, the bots like wouldn't leave me alone. Um, and so it seemed like every stream for, yeah, just ever, yeah, since that first time, it's like that that first raid planted some algorithm in my channel. It's like, but some pheromone, bot pheromone. What the hell? No, my stone. Hold on, can we win this? Oh, it's the new lord. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I can win this. If it weren't if the Lord weren't here, I could I could. Ugh, this guy is gonna be a pain to kill. Uh, we have some spells actually. Hold on, I've I've traitor kin. Hold on. Okay. Uh hold on. Yeah, we actually have some spells on our dude. On our uh, shaman here. He he's, has a number of spells. I think SFO may have given garrison heroes more access to more of their tools, which is a very good thing. In vanilla, uh, heroes that are in garrisons are almost worthless. They're not worthless, but they're just not very good. They don't do anything. Weak. That's right. Bot pheromone. It is. They're like little stink beetles. Alright. Um, we're beat up. That's not good. Probably should have fused some units. Oh wait, we can't. It's a garrison. Right. So, okay. We're going to have to keep this guy alive. How much magic do we have? A decent amount. Okay, right. So spells in SFO, some are the same. A lot of them are changed, at least a little bit. Some are changed a lot. Uh, and so let's remind ourselves what the changes are here. Traderkin's... That's the one that's really good to you. characters, right? Single out the decent characters? I think so. Up to five of these. Yeah, so we want to cast this on their lord. This one's, yeah, more like on larger unit counts or model model count units. Vital tides and explosion, good AOE, blast, uh, no armor piercing, which is fine. They don't have a lot of armor. That moment when you get into a military alliance and your ally decides he is playing, this is total war. Yeah, you're just like, 
the little the little kid in the microwave the, the face who's just like <laughs> I love that one. Poor little kid. What that mean? Here look it's legendary. Uh you guys don't have shields, you'll be on the flanks. Oh my god, we're just gonna get We're not in good shape, alright? Kind of an oversight to give Garrison's caster. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it's silly. In, in vanilla, it's like give. See, in SFO, you can see like they they gave our hero that's in the Garrison three of his main spells. He could do something. Each Garrison here needs to be like level ten or something like that. Like make them have access to some other things. They don't have to be. They have unlocked. They shouldn't have unlocked everything, but. Give them access to some of their tools more beyond just their initial, you know, starting spell. Alright, so the Harveys really need to do a lot of work here too, get on these archers. Um, let's split them up though. Once one go on this side. Oh god, it's janky. You guys go on this side. We need to keep our hero alive at all costs. Try to get up there a little more because I want to be able to wrap around the sides of them. Oh. God, this map's so janky. Get on those archers. Oh gosh, this, uh, this is not going to be good. Files high on the character. Good, okay. Doing a little damage. Doing some damage. Good. Okay. Good. Get you in the melee a little bit. Harpies are going great. Anyone else buffering here and there? Uh, might be me. Check after this battle. Hey, swordsman is to powerhouse. spell might be behaving differently than it does in vanilla. It's still doing some damage to some of these. I don't think it's as crazy OP as it, it used to be. In vanilla, I think it was I think it was overtuned for a while, but I'm pretty sure they, they kind of tampered it down a little bit. Toned it down. 
Hey, these harpies are little, little champions. Let's move back over here. Do great. 50 weapon strength. Yeah, pretty good stats. They bleed. Or they cause bleed, rather. Yeah, they're good. It's cool that they're different than the ones in the Warriors of Chaos. The Warriors of Chaos ones, I think, don't do as much damage, but they have. Or no, I'm thinking of. Um, not Warriors of Chaos ones, the Vampire Count ones. Have. 40 or 50 melee defense. So these ones I think do more damage but are a little squishier. Good, good, good. Yeah, look at the kills. 247. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was watching Kanuko play a couple weeks ago. Oh, it's funny. He, good timing, Kanuka. You just read my mind. I was thinking about watching you uh, play Malagor a couple weeks ago and uh, using that mostly harpy stack. It sounds like it was pretty effective then. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with Malagor harpies. Their bananas with Rakhar's buffs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with Rakhar's buffs for sure. Mm, looks like the money. Whew. Our stone holes, oh my gosh. Okay, we could actually perform the ritual now, but let's wait. Should we go for mid nine? It'd be nice if this army here would go kill itself on the garrison to soften it up for us. Um, that would take away some of the fun. Hmm. Pretty good shape. I wish I had harpies instead of warhounds. Can I get them yet? I can. I need a building for it, though. I don't, I don't have that building. Salzmund is also a capital. Dieter Schaefen is not... Yeah, I guess we just go for Middenheim. I think we can do it. Don't have our Gorbel yet, though. I was hoping we'd have our Gorbel given to us by now, but we don't. There's a guy. Oh, period. Actually, no losses? Hmm. Punishment is really bad. We can let's try this. I'm curious to see. Okay, yeah, about what I expected. Not good. Obviously, could have fought that done a lot better. But I almost want to see how much the punishment we're given here. For one turn, twenty percent. Okay, it's probably gonna put us off in a direction we don't want either. Let's find out. Uh, okay, that's actually not. Too bad. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Should have fought that. It's okay. It was more of a test. And a blazing. Got the soul blade. Alright. We haven't discovered... Oh, no, we have. We have. I take that back. Hey, Festus. He wants to trade. Good. Yeah, I forgot we could trade now with other Chaos people. Heck yeah, Festus is going to be our stinky little buddy. A fellow stinky boy. I bet we're stinkier, though. Surprisingly. Uh, 
Let's fuse these guys together because they don't have shields. I want shields. Are you an Ungor? Yes. Do you have a bow? No. Then do you have a shield? You better. Alright, let's move. We could pop the ritual now. That way I could forget about worrying about this place. And get back to by Northern probably when I go down to Middenstag. Let's just pop the ritual now. Could get four more, potentially six more points. So we could get another ten added to the ritual from these two settlements here, and then even more up here. But let's just let's wait. Let's wait. We'll see if this guy makes a move on it. Garrison's healing up though. Yeah, let's wait. Let's at least get Wiseman down. That made me think. Do you think I'd have more luck bear backing a Centigor or trying to eight second Minotaur? Um, probably bear backing a Centigor. I think you'd be able to manage that decently well. Eight second a Minotaur? No, nah, they'd probably literally rip you in half. <laughs> probably just like, you're done. Beastmitch trading makes me laugh. I know, they just like hold out a handful of shit. Dick, be happy. I don't want your poo. Nah, I think they're they're probably a little more advanced than that. They can build shacks and stuff. I mean, they're not that. There, there are dumber creatures in the world. Let's put it that way. Beastmen are smart, as far as I know. Not many, not most of them. But I think they're smarter than we give them credit for. They just don't mind being stinky. I think that's the thing. They don't care that they're haggard. They know that they are. They embrace it. I appreciate that about them. They are lower. Alright, what? Two? Alright, we have that. Alright, we're just a little short money. This battle should give us what we need. Let's do this to. Actually, let's just get rid of you guys. We don't run into something, or uh, vice versa. That a creature's elves, you mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Hey, it's Joe. Joe just texted me. My captain, Captain Joe. All right, yeah, let me see. Yeah, it looks shiny. You have it. It's like, if it's shiny, they don't trust it. They're like, oh, no, it needs mud on it. You look at him. You look cool. Hanging out with these, just honoring the, the solar eclipse. I mean, it's basically what we do. They're no different. Um, yeah, I'll replenish my room. Yeah. See, that's better. That's why you grab that ritual. In, in instances like this, you, that ritual makes a big difference. Oh, Festus is on the move. There, yeah, we could just burn this crap down. You can go take it. Actually, if I do the ritual, you make this a blood scround. Let's wait till he takes it first. Yeah, that way he can settle it. If I pop the ritual now, he wouldn't be able to settle Crudenwald. Or Middenheim, for that matter. Middenheim's a freaking fortress to him. Okay, I should, I should let him take Middenheim. He needs that quickly, though. I'm not going to dead dally. Much longer. Alright, let's go after Middenstag. Pyrrhic High. Great sword unit. Yeah, we'll fight this. Should be too bad. Yeah, you shut down. I think they had four crossbows and one handgunner unit. So they got to go. And the mortar. All right. 
So I like this forest here approaching through here. Seems pretty pretty doable. Oh good, this is space back here to Vanguard. Okay, cool. Not a whole lot of room here on the flanks, but I think that'll work there. And then you guys can come from literally just back here. That might be a little too dangerous though. Put them back here. Yeah. That way, um, I'll give us time to rush in from the front and space these guys out a little bit. Sure, that works. Um, you guys are kind of beat up. You go on that side. You guys take the brunt of it. In. Smash. Get on the handguns. Swords. Yeah, 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 watch out. We're gonna need these guys on the great swords. Yeah, come on up here. guys. There we go. Where's the Lord? There is. The best score over here. Jump, jump, jump. Go, go, go. Chase him down. There we go, we got these guys now. How are we doing, Kazrak? He's doing okay over here. Stop firing. Stop firing. There we go. Razor Gore just chopping away. Okay, unbreakable. Oh. Ok, 
Tazzy. Yeah, the Ungor Raiders, they plunk away. They plunk away. Get him. Come on, get him. Don't let Baldy escape. Get him. There we go. Good. Rogue. A lot of Rogue's victories today. Jeez. So, dive, dive, dive. One second, guys, I just sent a text out to somebody. Those minos know how to live. Oh, yeah, the rank symbols uh, are more authentic to actual military chevrons. It's funny. Forgot about that. Cool. All right. Post battle loot. This is Minstag. Um, this is loot and raise. Alright, so our ritual's up to 18. Not the biggest of rituals, but it's uh, decent. Could go after Weismund. Is that their last territory? No, I still have Karaburg. Okay. Alright, we got our first chariot at 8. Okay, the Razor Gore at 12. Manbane or. Melee defense. Mm. Slug skin. That seems really good. 10% missile resistance. Or oh, extra weapon strength. I don't know. Do you want to be more defensive or offensive is what it boils down to. I I like... I think I like the defensive. We already do enough damage. I mean, yeah, and we'll, there's other ways in which we'll buff up our damage output, but I, I think that extra missile resistance will be nice across the board. level do we get that I think the next you know once we just un once we unlock this get that next yeah cool the boar units feel better yeah they do like my uh, my chariots um, the razor gore are or no are they tough scores tough scores right now are doing um, better than uh, I, I expected Look at that, because this gives us access to more magic damage. Yeah, these little piggies are doing work. Alright. Um, let's hop back into this stance and scooch down towards this direction. We should be able to reach Wiseman next turn. Yeah, and that'll give us an extra 4, which will put the ritual at 22. And then we'll pop it. And we'll pop lock and drop it. All right, okay, let's spend the money on getting our main horde building up to tier two. Good. And we could spend a bit of dread. Hey, you know what? Getting some more piggies, seeing that they're doing really well, so getting up some Razor Gore Herd might not be bad. They're actually a good source of AP, pretty cheap. They do Rampage, but they are a good source of fairly cheap armor piercing. But a lot of the unit, until you get Bestigore, you, you kind of lack that. So you get Vestigore. Uh, you, you don't have a lot of AP. 
Throwing Axes and Razor Gore, your dedicated AP. So yeah, I think we'll get some Razor Gore. Some pigish. Alright, moving on. Off to bed, have fun, peeps. See you later, hamster. Take care, Bobbing. Thanks for kicking it. I believe his doom stack is the Razor Gourd Chariots and Bestigors. Yeah, that's what I've heard too. That's what we're gonna go for. Razor Gores and uh and Bestigors of the different varieties. We're not be able to get all the varieties because it's pretty expensive, but we'll try to get maybe two. We'll see. We could just put all of our money into unlocking the four varieties, but it's probably going to take all of our money. Because as you can see, if you look at the tech tree, um, each one's 10G. Yeah. Yeah, pretty expensive. But, well, we'll be making a lot of money. All right, stick, stick here, dude. Drive safe. Yeah, that's it, Wiseman. Let's go. Oh, did you see that army that was right behind us? They didn't see us there. Oh my gosh. Um, let's grab the replenishment. Ah! Move back closer to them. Shit. They are taking attrition. They don't see us. Be secret. Probably come down to settle Middenheim. Oh, this is prevent them from being able to settle it. Watch this. Cult <laughs> <laughs> of the Shadow Gave. Nice. For Mark's Ruination. Cool. So, let's give that pelt to you. Um, yes, I can't settle anything now, sucker. And we allowed Festus to settle Crudenwald. He's probably pissed at us that he's not able to sit mid settle Midnight now. Both Theodric and Festus are mad, angry at us for, for doing that. But you know what? That's what we do. We put down stones. We have to deal with it. I love blue balling them on ruins like that. I know. <laughs> it's just like he's about. He's licking his chops. At mid time, yes, big capital. Nope. No, not for you. Sorry, bud. Let's see if we cash him in an ambush here, that'd be kind of funny. Uh, hey, Festus, what'd you like? Non aggression deal. Okay, that northern army it looks like. Is that them right there? Did they go into encamp stance? I don't think that's them. They went down here. That was the army we were just looking at, right? Yeah, so they settled mid and stack. That's okay. Um, they're going to be tired. Yep. 17. Not at war with them yet. We need to finish off Toddy. How many settlements does he have left? Tanny. Just the one. Um. Are we at full strength. We are. We should just go slam these guys. They're going to be tired. Garrison's non existent. Let's send you as a scout first. Okay. Is Festus at war with them? No. Let's talk to Festus. Oh, he wants access. Um, sure. Now, Festus, would you join me in war against Toddy? 
if I paid you 400? Um, sure. Doesn't seem like a bad deal. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Alright, let's, yeah, let's get this place. Nordland. Alright, so circle and pop our hero back in there. do this close medium it's the map they don't have a lot of range a lot of spears it's okay soul bite will be good here it does lower melee defense leadership damage output it's good just kind of does everything yeah we should be fine here They have a mortar? No, no mortar. Okay. Oh, our piggy chariot. Keep them away from the spears. Keep them on the swordsmen and the archers. Okay, nice. We have a little downhill slope for us to get some momentum from. All right, piggies, I want you on the side over here. Actually, you could start in this forest here. Oh, yeah, that's going to be devastating. They're going to rain terror on them. The doggies, the doggos, it starts um, over here, back here maybe. Yeah, that works. Way in the back. Gazzy, right there, right out in front. Best of gore. Hang out on this side. Regular gore. This side. Oops. U3 over like that. that. Archers. Whoops. Poor Minos, they have to catch up every time. They don't mind that. Look how fast the best score are. Look, 55 speed. It's insane. Devastating charge here. Gores just chopping on the flank. Look how fast the Gores just chop through these swordsmen. See the shock, the shock value we have, just brutal. Beef train's coming for you, buddy. 
Oh, just imagine these guys running after you. You're done. Do a barrel roll. Oh, not this time. Yum, yum. These gores, they, they just chop through those swordsmen so effectively. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Call Minos. You got him. There we go. Were we pop tarts on a skillet? <laughs> nice, dude. Oh, I never tried that. Huh. Pop-Tarts are pretty damn good. I used to eat them quite a bit when I was a kid. Ooh, yeah, they can be delicious. I like the s'mores one. But see how fast we hit, like, we just, we just break them. Break their will to fight. Soul is mine. I mean, Toddy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pop tarts are so American, are they? I guess they are. Yeah. This is something I grew up with as a kid. Pop tarts. You just see the commercials and shit. Little eight year old kid. Grab the package after school. Oh, yeah. Here's your healthy breakfast, Timmy. Oh, Pop-Tarts, yay. And they wonder why their kids have ADD. Just like sugar high. <laughs> America. All right. Um, could we start another stone here? Probably not the best spot for it, though. No, why not? <gasps> A caravan! Healthy, I know. That's, that is so American. It's like, I know Nutella's not American, but it's big here in America. Is it a Swedish product? Sippy, you would know. You're Swedish. Where does where does uh, Nutella come from? Is it German? I can't remember. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Americans love it, and I feel like a lot of Americans think Nutella is like healthy. Cause it's, it's got it's got hazelnuts in it. Like, that shit's terrible for you, but it's so good, dude. I love Nutella, but it's not healthy for you. Only 800 calories per bite. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, dude, I put Nutella in anything. Nutella's Swiss. Oh, it would be Swiss. Dude, I bet Ash. But she loves Nutella. Eats it with a spoon. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right, Sippy. I think it is. I think it is Swiss. Seems like a Swiss product. What American thinks it's healthy? Probably every American. Excuse me. Whew. I think uh, us Americans are in denial about what what is healthy. Nutella is Italian? I didn't know that. No. Ah, uh, the kinder product line. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't know it was Italian. It's dangerous, whatever it is. It's dangerous. Alright, um... Ferrero, which is an Italian firm. Gotcha. Okay. Huge hazelnut farms in North Italy. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Thank you, Miley. I do want to see that part of the world someday, like southern Germany... The, you know, the Swiss Alps, Switzerland, Northern Italy. I think I'd like that area a lot. Not too hot, you know. It's 
love my forest, so it would still feel like home being in the forest. I feel like if I went to like more than like a month without being in the forest, I'd probably start having a meltdown. Where are my trees? <laughs> I was born in the trees. Hmm. Let's hold off on that. Damn, caravan. Hmm. Okay, well. We've caused a lot of destruction already. We still have our stone. I'm gonna try to hold our stone. If we lose it, we lose it. Not, not the end of the world. We've already done the ritual. That's the main thing. Just came back from vacation in Berlin. Oh, nice, cool. Yeah, I'd like to see Berlin someday. Lots of ambiance. Very cool, yeah. I guess the Ella should have informed us. Oh, that's true. That is pretty Italian, isn't it? That is a good point, Can you go. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Yeah, there's still so much of the world I want to see. I've been blessed with my family, they've they've traveled, they've had the ability to travel a lot with their careers and everything. Um, so I've gotten to tag along with my family on lots of trips, but there's still a lot of the world I haven't seen. A quest has been issued but if it, if it came to me Great having to be stuck here, I'd be totally fine with that too. I'm in a For while the pretty nice area. Great, Not complaining. So too are the perils. A quest, you say? Oh yeah, the scourge. That's right. It's his whip, <laughs> with no depth perception. Just imagine using a whip with with one eye. That'd be, that'd be so hard. Close one eye and make a whipping motion. You're gonna suck. You're not gonna be effective. Uh, scourge is a lethal whip, thirsty for blood, and wrapped in the bitter curses of many generations of Bray shamans. Uh -huh. Pretty good. Oh right, and use extra splash power. Right. Yeah, it, it's pretty nasty. You pop it and you roll into a big when he's on his chariot. You know, rear charge a big blob of infantry. Just do a ton of splash damage. It, it makes him a lot like um, Ground the Punch. All right. Is this again? Just again? Ooh, that's kind of a nasty army. Ooh. Okay. Flooding. Hmm. Oh, the poor beastmen skulls. They don't like their deserts, apparently. Uh oh, Fronty's kind of discovered us. Yeah, he's coming after our stone. Um, we could ambush him here. He's taking attrition. Um, I feel like we can take this with our garrison, with the help of our garrison. Uh, yeah, let's try this. Carl's only level two. I feel like we could smack him down fairly well. Um, what's, what's Carl's weapon strength? Absolutely not. Okay. Sugar nut. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. Let's pop out. 60% ambush chance, it's not good. 85 here. Let's try this. Ooh, never mind, 100, baby. Alright, yeah. Let's just sit by the stone. And we can actually recruit another. Oh, wait, no, we don't have capacity for another army yet, right? Damn. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just see if we can catch 
Franz, not in an ambush per se, but I want him to attack our stone here and bring in our army that he doesn't see. Giving us 30 units to his 20. Do not take me for a fool. So we should be okay. I repurchased Empire Total War. The base game and all DLC are 24 bucks on Steam. Damn, nice. I uh, Actually, I own Empire Total War, but I haven't played it yet. Um, but I, I bought that one a couple years ago. Yeah, about a year ago or so. On sale as well. First campaign will be the Prussians. Nice, nice. Very cool. Yeah, I, I, I've been meaning to play that one. Total War. I can't remember if I have all the DLC or not. I might. Can't recall. Right, let's see if we catch this guy in an ambush. Come in. Oh yeah, get in here, Carl. Civ 6 is $2. Oh my god. It's so cheap. Uh, the full wipe would be nice. Where do I fight it? Nah, I'm gonna... Yeah, just the full wipe. Look at that. Not bad at all. Damage is nice and spread out. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, it's my sister. Hey, Jess. Oh, candy, thank you. Shut <laughs> My sister just brought me candy. Been playing Ultimate General Civil War. Oh, nice. Actually, I own that game too. Alpha, <laughs> I haven't played that one. Um, yeah, you get to you get to learn about the American Civil War. It's absolutely terrible. It's just got awful war. I mean, all wars are terrible. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, that 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 war is not not pretty. In two days at the Battle of Gettysburg, more guys died than all the Vietnam War. American guys. More Americans died in two, two days at Gettysburg than all the Vietnam War. Remember when I learned that when I was like 14? I was like, oh my god. It just blew my mind. Ugh. Uh, yeah, that was good. Ooh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of gold there. Carl, he had some, some deep pockets. Yeah, that is the Civil War, American General, Ultimate General Civil War. That's right. Yeah, another game I have in my library that I haven't played yet. My gosh. Um, Ostland, do you say? Okay. Maybe it was Gettysburg. Oh, yeah, there's a Gettysburg one, too, isn't there? Yeah, I, I, that's true, Sippy. Maybe the one I have is the Gettysburg one. I can't remember. Were Cav are completely useless? Mm. Best strategy is to have better guns and more guns. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why the North won against the South in the American Civil War. Because the North developed the repeating rifle. You're able to shoot, you know, 12 times in a minute. Or more than that. Versus, like, single shot, you know, the musket. The South didn't have the repeating rifle that the North did later on in the last couple years of the war. It, yeah, just imagine fighting against an army that had a lot of repeating rifles and you still had a musket <laughs> I'd be like this sucks and the repeating rifle has rifle barrels although muskets had later muskets had rifle barrels too but, but yeah I'd just be, that'd be depressing yeah the Gatling gun came at towards the end of the war too yeah the hand cranked. Yeah. That was used in the war, later in the war. Yeah, American Civil War is fucked up. 
was fucked up. Ugh. I actually been to Gettysburg. I was there when I was about fourteen. Um, it's just, yeah, my dad had me tour it. The fields there, Pennsylvania. Quite pretty. All right. Um, okay, looking around. I think I'm gonna call there for today. It's four o'clock. I've been going. I just hit the, about the five hour mark, which I think is good. I, I don't want to go beyond five hours most streams. Now we probably will with some streams, but I, I can't do back to back eight hour streams anymore. Did that for a year, and it's just kind of I don't know. I, wanna, I don't want to say it's fried me, but it's really um, I, I don't want it to suck out my passion for this game. I just playing it more than you know, what I consider fun. So I think this is a good length of time. I think five hours is good. Good middle ground. Rifles were shitty. Musket ball really fucks you up like other ammo shatters bones and shit. Yeah, true sippy. Yeah, big old musket ball. It's a blunt force. I mean, it'll just rip, rip off a limb. Yeah. Shatters bones, rips off a limb. Yeah. Rifle gunshot wounds are a lot easier to treat. Assuming they're not um, they're not hollow point. Hollow point. It's more like a musket ball in its effect. But yeah, full metal jacket rounds are much easier to treat. Yeah, avoid the burnout. Yeah, that's right, Dan. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday. I got, I'm watching B5 with Dan in the morning. I might stream after that. I'm not sure. I'll probably take tomorrow off. Uh, I'll do a Let's Play, though, for you guys. But I'll be back on Sunday for sure. Um, I'll still be doing at least four streams a week. I'd say four to five streams a week, guys. So they're just going to be a little shorter. Like, yeah, five hours. Five-hour mark. Um, let's let's raid somebody while I got you here. Oh, I got a lot of people here. 24 of you. Thanks, guys. And thank you for the likes today. Appreciate it. Alright, let's see who's streaming. Just one second, guys. Let's see. It's Linus Tech Tips. No, we're not going to raid him. Um, Lore Master, Hibby's making a meme video. Everyone's just up and coming, up and coming streams. No one's streaming. Hold on, let's do it the old fashioned way. Let's do it the good old fashioned way. Stick with me just for a few more seconds here, guys. Just a second. Oh, nice, Dan. You did. A Dune review. Oh, cool. Guys, yeah, Skaven Dan just did, um, if you're interested in RTS games, looks like Skaven Dan just did a review of Dune Spice Wars, which I've had my eye on for some time. I love the Dune universe, so does Skaven Dan. Um, so I'm very curious about that game. I've seen Turn play it quite a bit, and it looks really cool. Um, Tyan Gaming, well, let's raid him. He's so close to a thousand subs. He's at 998. So guys, go if you haven't subbed to Tie In Gaming, I'm gonna link you a uh, link to his stream right now. Put him. He's at 998 subscribers. Put him over the thousand mark. Okay, do that for me today. He streams his ass off. He works really hard. We're gonna put you over the 1K mark. All right, so yes, please go subscribe to him if you have any. He needs two more subscribers, guys. You guys can do that for me. Do it for him. Don't do it for me. Do it for him. Where's my chat box? Ah. There we go. Yeah, there's a link to his stream, guys. 
And yeah, you guys can be responsible for us 1K. Yeah, do make that happen right now. Mercy did it to me a couple months ago. Mercy rated me and it put me over a thousand. Do this for Tyant Gaming. And uh, yeah, that'd make me happy. Make him happy. He, he works really hard. I mean, he does good work. He's a really good player. So yeah, alright guys, I'll talk to you all uh, probably tomorrow. For sure on Sunday. And have a good one. Talk to you all soon. Goodbye.